are going to get into the game here. This is a best of nine. Hera in the blue, Viper in the yellow. And Viper is playing as Mongols here on step. And someone asked me how much hunt is on step. In addition to the boars that you get, there is 44 deer. And that is 6,160 food. So it's not as much as I thought. I thought there would be more than that. But still, 44 deer with the Mongols is massive. Absolutely massive. Some arbitrary individual. Don't post a sub dodge emote when I saw you got gifted one. That was before the 50 bomb from Lieutenant Dang. It's crazy. Guy is a, is a wizard. It's a wizard. How much with the Mayans? Ooh, someone run that calc. Look at this from Hera. Hera's going for the immediate barracks. Immediate barracks. 12 population only for him. He did start with an extra villager. Um... Being the Mayans, even on the 9 villager start means he starts with 10. And he's going to go for Militia right away, and he might actually end up killing the hunt from Viper with the Militia. He's only gone for one so far. Probably should eject this. He's going for a second one even. Damn. Hera has to put pressure. I agree. You can't let the Mongols just have all of this food accessible to them. And maybe Hera is just kind of waiting... Viper hasn't seen the barracks. Hera is waiting to find the hunt from Viper, and he's going to find it right... No! He doesn't see it! <laughs> Bro, he doesn't see it one tile away! He does not see the hunt, but he sees the villager coming out. He sees the villager coming out. And is he going to lose the, the horse? Oh my god. Oh! The angles! He barely didn't lose that. Now Hera's, all, Hera's over here, and like... What is over here? There's absolutely nothing. There is absolutely nothing over here for him to hit. He is lost. He is lost south of Viper's base. There's a lumber camp here. Viper should be able to wall that, though. He will see it coming in. And Hera missing this by one tile. One tile. Unfortunate for him. Probably should have followed that hunter out there. Viper did not have Loom. He just gets Loom right now, and he's on the way to the Feudal Age with 16 population. Here's the Militia, and this is what happens, but Hera is holding it open with his horse still. There's Loomed Villagers here, and there's only two Militia there for Hera, and Viper's going to be fine. Horse is really close to death. As Hera engages here with the Militia, but Viper pushes him away. And Hera's just gotten really limited value from these Militia. I would have liked to see him kill the hunt. Rather than come in here to the wood line to try and do damage with only two Militia. It just doesn't seem like you're doing enough. Viper, in the meantime, going for that barracks. He's probably going to go into scouts here. He's still only got four villagers on hunt, but once he takes control of the map... That's when he's going to start taking in all that food. And Hera decides to go after the yurt, which is not a bad decision. The yurt and the um, pavilions, both the same class of building, and they have zero armor. Literally zero. So the militia are doing four damage per hit. Hera's still not up. Yeah, Hera's about to click up right now, and he was delayed because he went for those militia. And he decides to go up with no loom. Oh boy, <laughs> he decides to go up. No loom. I, I wonder if Viper gets to the feudal age. He changes that decision. No, nope, no, nope, he's doubling down. He's just going for walls. He's just going for walls. Still killing the yurt though. Still killing the yurt. Two militia going ham against that. Is Viper going to repair the yurt? <laughs> he is. <laughs> No, he's coming out here. Get him. Bah! <laughs> now he repairs the... This is my yurt. That's right. Get away from my yurt. Exactly. So Hera no loom, but Hera taking a page out of MBL's book maybe and making some uh, interesting walls at the back, but he's going to be safe from the scouts. And it's not going to be scouts. It's going to be archers for Viper. Three on gold there, and the archers are already coming forward. No fletching for him. So even against non-loomed villagers, I think with the walls up here, Hera will have time to run away from that range. Maybe might lose this low HP one. And he remembers to click loom immediately after. So the archer's going to come in and... 
Viper's not really going to find any value as Hera goes for an archer range of his own. However, Viper can now extend out for this hunt. He's only got four villagers on hunt right now, but there is a mill here. And it seems like these villas are going to head over to that mill afterwards. Also going for a mill on the berries. Also going for a mill on the berries. Yo, Lieutenant Dan, thank you for the 25 gifted, dude. That's incredibly generous. That's 75 on the day from you. That is nuts, bro. Thank you so much, man. You are crazy. My man's getting a... Does he have a VIP? He's getting a VIP. After the game. Dave eating good today? Yep, of course I am. Lieutenant, damn, son, exactly. Okay, Viper, finding these villagers on this side. Finally snipes the horse from Hera as it bleeds out in the field. And he's going to get a second archer over here, but he can't stop those villagers from going back. Can't kill any of those vills. And the game has kind of settled down now. Hera's going into farm eco. Viper is going into hunt in the center here and going onto these berries and still has sheep alive. So Hera's farms... Going to be more stable long term, and he's already got eight of them. Viper will need to make that transition at some point. But right now, Viper's food income is a lot faster than Harris, so he might end up getting up to Castle Age uh, with a significant advantage. Fletching coming in now. Viper's still controlling the middle. Hera, though. Some archers and skirmishers of his own. Where is that one militia? <laughs> oh my god. Start killing deer, dude. Start just massacring deer. Come on. You need to get value. He's getting some good scouting information with this guy. Yeah, Hera's playing this very defensively. He's going to sacrifice the hunt, and Viper's not going out for the hunt to take advantage of the fact that Hera's playing defensively. He's only still got four villagers taking in that food. So it's kind of working out for Hera because Viper's not really going for these patches while he can. Hey, what's up, Luke Cab? Welcome, dude. Welcome, everyone. It's going to be a good grand finals. I mean, we had an absolutely insane semis yesterday, I think, between Leary and Viper. Some of those games were so good. And we saw it, like, we saw everything on display. We saw traps. We saw epic Leary micro. We saw comebacks in the first semis. Hera versus Vinch. As Hera hunts down this archer. That's, uh, that's a good snipe there from him. And he's actually taking the hunt over here. Wow. But Viper's about to click up to the Castle Age. And I wonder if he actually adds in some Step Lancers here. Step Lancers feel like a viable option against Mayans. Especially if there's a lot of skirmishers on the field. Especially if you have access to the hunt. Dude, we've seen Step Lancers quite a bit recently. With Mongols, they can be very good, and Harris stolen a sheep. <laughs> well, maybe you can come back and finish off that yurt with the militia. Harris trying to trap this. He's trying to pick off Viper's reinforcements too. Very, very nice. Viper will see this army with the horse. Good use of that horse to continue scouting around. Harris still without the plus one armor. So Archer's doing okay against skirmishers, but. Viper needs to retreat anyway, because he does not have the numbers. He's gone up to the Castle Age, and he stalled out his production. And now he's adding double stable. It might be Step Lancer here. It could very well be Step Lancer. Could be Knights as well. But I, I would suspect... Well, with the food eco and how much gold he has, it might just be Knights. Yeah, make sure you thank Dan if you got gifted a sub from him. He's going crazy. Yeah, Mycroft, it's only going to get higher, man. Remember like a year ago when people were say was saying AoE 4 was going to kill AoE 2? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. Dude, Viper's being so annoying. Look at how weak these units are. Hera's entire army is over here. Hera's entire army is out of position. It is way out of position. That's because Viper dragged it, and it's going to take like a minute for that army to get back over here. 
Lieutenant Dan with another 10. Thank you so much, dude. And it looks like Hera is actually going for a castle. Might go for a second TC first, but he's going for the castle to open up. And he has to be a little bit suspicious that Viper is making a transition into stable units now because he hasn't seen any range follow-up from the initial army. Unlike Neo from the Matrix. Why? Because you dodge. Okay, Step Lancers. Big! Huge! Steppies coming onto the field and there's a forward siege workshop here from Viper and he's tracking the front of Hera's base with his horse. Not tracking this army though and Hera might find this villager. However, he's going to probably die to the Step Lancers. The archer is really the only unit that's going to be doing anything against these. <laughs> the skirms are going to be doing nothing and these things will clear up this entire army. Yeah. And there's more follow-up where that came from. Hera's going to need a castle in defense. This army is just buying him time at the moment. Is there a hole over here? Nope. Hera knows there's no hole because of the militia. And one skirmisher is left alive. And here's the siege from Viper. Ah, this is going to get difficult. This is going to get difficult, folks. Hera will have the castle in the fence, so it's going to be hard to kill him. But it'll be extremely difficult for Hera to push out. And look at where he needs to go for that castle. Because the Step Lancers are here. He needs to go for the castle in, like, the most defensive position of all time. This is... This is just such a cautious castle position. And the Mangonel is coming over to the gold. And if the Mangonel sits here on the gold, what does Hera do? He won't have access to gold at all. And I don't know if he can take it back. He doesn't even have room to really make a siege workshop as the Step Lancers try and come in. Hera with the quick walls, but the Step Lancers are through. What happened to that house? Did Hera delete it at the last second? What happened to that? There was a house foundation there. Did Viper just attack that with like a single frame? Anyway, the gold is denied. Step Lance is killing villagers on the wood line. 37 bills for Hera, 41 for Viper. And the drush into wall strategy for Hera just not looking like it's effective at all. He queues up three plumed archers and one eagle. That's it. Viper is going for a second TC at the back. Very Viper-like. A lot of players would just keep adding more siege, adding more units. And he's kind of doing that one at a time. But he wants to expand his league. So he's going for the TC. And he's just going to continue to surround Hera. I think an outpost over here or leaving a step lancer over here might be good too. Just to deny Hera from moving out. Viper, by the way, still taking the hunt in the center with these four villagers. It's only been four villagers this entire time. Also, I think it's open if you take this relic. You can open the gap into Hera's base. Not that you can do much in here, but that'd be funny if Vi Viper comes and snags this relic. Hera's going to lose more vills here. Hera's going to lose more vills. The Step Lancers are coming in. Mangonel's attacking the TC from two different directions. Hera tries to leave here with the plumes. Viper will see the plumes leaving, but remember, he's, he's kind of fully walled at home. Maybe these villagers will die. A little bit threatening there. But Harris still has to deal with the Mangonel pressure on his front TC as he finds the villagers from Viper. First opening here for Hera. First real opening here to do damage from Hera. And looks like four of those villagers are going to get away. Now because Viper went into Step Lancers, he's kind of short on food here and he's got a lot of gold and wood in the bank. So he goes for a market to balance his eco a little bit. Eagles trying to snipe. This Mangonel, the Step Lancers are coming over, but it's going to get the Mangonel. Great snipe from that eagle. And Hera goes for the third TC. Hera is hard to kill, boys and girls. He is very hard to kill. And there are now plumes in the back of Viper's economy. He's sending Step Lancers back to deal with this, and he should be able to kill those. Does have the plus two on these Step Lancers, so can maybe... Make an argument for running underneath that TC as he does more damage to these Lumberjacks. Still not attacking this main TC though, which is interesting. 
Feels like he should just keep up the attack on that, right? Viper's heavy on stone now. So he wants to take this into the later stages of the game. Hera is still ahead on villagers. He has zero map control. And the worker efficiency for him has been worse. It's better right now, but it has been worse in general this game. Viper's kind of letting Hera hang out over here, which is just like... It's just so weird, right? Feels like a position where if Viper didn't go for that second TC, he would have already killed Hera. And that's a risk that you need to take sometimes. But Viper still knows that he's ahead and he's going for a fourth TC now. Third one at the back. Fourth one in the middle. If he had just kept up production, kept up pressure, instead of going for the extra TC, Hera might already be dead. But, I mean, Viper's still in a fine position. Even though he's behind in villagers. He's pressuring over here. Hera forced into a siege workshop. And he doesn't have the gold, doesn't have the wood to make mangonels yet. Oh, he's got one in the queue. Okay. And Viper also pushing on this side. Hera was pluming and booming. Nice attack round there from Viper. Hera takes a little bit of damage. He was pluming and booming. He wasn't booming into pluming. He was pluming into booming. Still idling Hera's villagers over here, too. Does lose a mangonel on this side, though. The Step Lancer's just kind of watching that happen. As is gonna attempt to save his mangonel, he won't be able to... Yeah, won't be able to. Another mangonel on this side, too. This Viper needs repair villagers forward to heal that up. Good split from Hera to avoid the shot from Viper. Viper has enough for... No! He took villagers off stone. I thought he would have had enough for a castle by now. But he took villagers off stone. He built the extra two TCs. And now he's only got five on stone right now. So the castle is still ways away. As he's not making any more step lancers. Just producing mangonels from one siege workshop. And producing vills. And he's starting to catch up on the villager count. Hera's eco upgrades by the way. Not good. He's only got the first wood upgrade. Viper with the second wood upgrade. Second farm and wheelbarrow. You can see that reflected in the efficiency here. 77% work efficiency last minute versus the 65 from Hera. And this TC. Oof. TC is in a rough spot. Remember, the other two golds for Hera are here and here. So Viper kind of controls those. And if he gets rid of this TC... Hera's going to have problems taking in gold as we see some fantastic micro here from Hera. With the plumed arch. Dude, he's just trying to do all he can at this point. Like, he doesn't have ballistics. Trying to get damage from the TC. Avoid the extra range from the step lancers. Trying to micro around those. He now sends the villagers out for the mangonel. And this is just desperation. This is absolute desperation time from Hera. As Viper nukes those villagers. And the step lances are going to clear up. And now the villager count is firmly in Viper's favor. Along with the eco upgrades. Hera runs out of all his plumed arches. He's got 10 plumes left. But a lot of those are weak. And now there's three mangonels on the way from Viper. And three is just too much to micro against, right? You're going to have to hope for ultimate hero shots from your own mangonel. Hera goes for another TC, by the way, on this side. Still staying in this. Viper with a nice little outpost there too. So he knows... Oh, that was a sick crop shot. This outpost enabled that attack. So Viper saw this mangonel coming in. He pulled a crop shot and Hera actually deleted the farm. So he couldn't do that again. So if you click on the farm, your mangonel gains like half a tile on their max range. Because it'll attack the middle of the farm. So that's exactly what Viper did there. And now Viper's coming forward with the castle. And that's a pretty safe forward castle. That's a pretty safe forward castle. It's all this military pressure here for Viper. Hera can't do anything about that. He's ejecting the plumes. He's going to try and micro against these mangonels. But Viper's going to get some big shots here. Nice attack round. And the step lancers are just running over any unit that comes out to deal with him. Viper is going to win this first game as Hera goes for another TC out there. 
Viper will see that. That's the fifth TC for Hera as he tries to secure another gold. I don't think there's any way that Viper loses from this position, right? 101 villagers for 77. Hera's struggling to secure gold, losing more villagers over here. He does have the plumes, which are very strong in a mass. But now Viper has a forward castle to retreat back to. And he can kill this TC, take out all these farms here, take out the production building, start working on this TC. Hera coming forward with the plumes. He knows he needs to do damage, but here come the Step Lancers, and these all have a lot of HP. And they're going to take out all these plumed archers. I'd love to see, like, where's forging for Viper, honestly? <laughs> He's got 44 on food. <laughs> Get forging, my dude. <laughs> that would help so much. They only have nine attack. Hera goes for a castle and Viper goes for a castle right next to him. There's no way Hera can get this up. Not against Step Lancers, though, right? Yeah, Viper just sits right here and finishes his castle. And Hera calls the GG. Really well played from Viper. Very unfortunate early scouting from Hera to not find the hunt. And to loop all the way around the, the so southern end of Viper's base. Uh, so the two Militia Drush got, like, zero value. But also, great transition from Viper. Only keeping four on the hunt. So he's not YOLOing the hunt, not taking any risks. Goes into Step Lancers, which I think do really well against Mayans. And gets the units at the front here at the perfect time to deny that castle position from Hera. And he has to go for a castle back here. I would have loved to see, like, the castle attempt over here. It wouldn't have worked because of the Mangonel, likely. But Hera didn't really know about the Mangonel incoming. So I would have liked to see him attempt the castle over here. If he has a safe gold, could be a different story. Viper takes game one. 42 Step Lancers created there. 95 to 45 is the KD. Lots more food for Viper. And, uh, I mean, it was a... For Hera's position from early Castle Age, I'm really impressed that he got up to as many villagers as he did and survived as long as he did, but it just... It never felt like he could really push back. Especially against a player like Viper. It just never felt like it was going to happen. Okay, so we go into game number two coming up. We'll mark this down as a win for the snake. And he got that win with Mongols, which should theoretically win on step, but Mayans was Hera's second pick. That's pretty nice. And then what's our next map? Our next map is going to be, we don't know yet. Hera gets to choose, and he can choose one of his home maps, or he can choose... One of Viper's home maps, too. All pray at the Church of Steppies. Beautiful play with a beautiful <laughs> unit. I was right all these years. You were right. Bad luck to Canada. Hopefully you'll be back. Oh, we'll be back. Just like the Steppies. Thank you, Spud. Thank you for the $5. And Lieutenant Dan, thank you for the... I think it was like 85 gifted subs. That's not a joke. 85 gifted from Lieutenant Dan. So if you got gifted a sub, make sure you thank him. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where is he? Is he in the chat? VIP the man? I need to copy his... his uh, Lieutenant Dan... 82. Dan... 82? Got him. Okay. Map is going to be... We don't know yet. They still have Step as the map they're hosting in the lobby. So as soon as I know that, I will tell you guys. And we can start speculating on Civ drafts. It's getting hot here. Was mine the best option for Hera in the last game? Um, he has other potential civs, but mines are pretty good there against, it gives you some options against Mongols, I think. Mongols are just really good on step. Are they the best option? Maybe not. They're one of the best. And you have a bunch of other maps you have to save civs for, right? P 
Pizza Rio, thank you for the tier one. Atomic Sausage, thank you for the gift sub. Bloody Eye, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it, bro. Okay, it's going to be four lakes, and we have like two minutes before we, uh, we get in here. Two plus minutes. They haven't even launched yet. Guys, you got to make sure you keep me updated, updated on the Germany-Spain situation as well. Thank you, Gamer Sven. Thank you for the four months, dude. Welcome back. Okay, four lakes. Bulgarians against Japanese. We saw Hera playing with the Bulgarians the other day. He almost lost. Like, he should have lost. Atomic Sausage, thank you for the gift sub to Lieutenant Dan? 85. Ah, 85. <laughs> And punts are welcome back, bro. I was like, I was like, Lieutenant Dan's not subbed. It's Lieutenant Dan 82 is the gifter. German engine not working. Yeah, the German engine is struggling right now. A little bit old, you know. Germany will win, maybe. Okay, so Bulgarians for Hera. We saw the power of the Bulgarians yesterday against Vinch, right? Like, Vinch killed 15 villagers. Hera was super far behind. All in production. He had some fishing ships. All in production. Went forward with Krampos. Denied some of the wood lines. Forcing Vinch to fight. Getting value there. And then it's a, a big eco transition after you get the numbers up. But Japanese have advantage in the early game. They get the dock faster. They can contest the pawns a little bit better. Their fishing ships work better. So their eco is going to be better than the Bulgarians. If we go super late game, though, I kind of favor the Bulgarians a little bit. Seems like they have more options, right? Kind of feels like you say that for every Civ against Japanese. Except, like, Goss, maybe, and Celts. Lieutenant Dan with another 50. Thank you so... Dude, stop. I, I gotta cast games, bro. I have to cast games. I have to cast games. I can't be casting games when you're gifting 50 subs all the time. It's actually stupid. I mean, it's stupid. The idea of... It's just... Thank you. If you guys got a gifted sub, make sure you thank him. Very, very generous guy. It's actually insane. Thank you, Zapple, for the 13 months. Dude, welcome back. Lieutenant Dan, you're crazy. All right, so we got Japanese here for Viper. He started in the middle, and Harris also started in the middle. We look at the wood lines, of, as we often do on this four legs generation, and they look pretty fair. Both players have a back wood line option. Uh, both players have a back secondary gold option. Harris got two back wood lines he could possibly take. No wood line on this side. Uh, like Viper has, but he does have options over here. So things are looking okay for Hera. This area is a little bit concerning with the two stones and the gold, but he is Bulgarian, so he should probably try and lock this down a little bit earlier. And uh, Hera is going out to this pond for the first stock. Viper going over to this pond for the first stock, and they're actually quite close to each other. Could see these bills moving across to try and contest, and I think Viper will be the one that wants to contest water Whereas Hera wants to be the one to just take the food off the water and put that into land military. Now Viper could go for a men at arms archer uh, forward attempt. We've seen that from the Japanese before. We saw that from the Incas from Winchester famously against Valesa. So Viper could try for some land shenanigans, but I think the more consistent play is just contesting water if you can. Uh, and then really taking advantage of your faster uh, fishing. Over the Bulgarians as we see the fishing ship already out for Viper. Not even one being produced from Harry yet. So there's the difference with Japanese. Like the second fishing ship is almost out. It's at 80% by the time Harry queues his first one. And that's because Japanese save 50 wood on the lumber camp. 
and they can put that directly into making their first stock and getting their fishing ship out. Also, I think Hera was a little bit late with his. What if Hera plays Bulgarian CA? Bulgarian CA are pretty good. Bulgarian CA are pretty good, but Japanese CA are pretty good too. The thing I like about Bulgarian CA is it's so fast with the tech switch, right? And you can add siege ramps uh, for cheap behind it. You can add onagers if you really want to. 50% uh, less food cost on those. And Hera just sniping that deer. Maybe he wants to keep that for later. And then he's he wants to scout as fast as possible. Probably wants to find where Viper's docked, to be honest. Four fishing ships and Viper is up. Only two fishing ships for Hera. The third one's at 30%. So there's the advantage on the water. And Viper's up really quickly. And he's going to go for the barracks here. He's building it with two vills. So is this a men at arms play? Two out to the gold right now? Barracks is pretty early to be rushed down with two villagers. Looks like a men at arms type play. Let's see what Viper scouted. Oh, he's found the villager from Hera. Uh-oh. Hera can't escape. Hera can't escape, and Viper just leaves him alone. He doesn't want to lose the scout. He wants this thing alive. Interesting. There's the militia there from Viper. He's, oh, he's badly housed, boys and girls. The build is not super clean. It was clean to get up. The barracks, I think, was a little bit too late. And now he's going for double house here. Had to build that house with three villagers. As his second militia is now being added. Hera going for a barracks in front of that stone or beside that stone. And he's on the way to Feudal Age. Let's take a look at Hera scouting. Hera can see the wood line here from Viper. Still can't see that barracks. Still can't see the barracks. And Viper is trapping him in. But he's got... <laughs> like, great trap, bro. <laughs> he had two villagers to stick in the TC. Pog! Three damage. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted to keep him busy, though. Maybe just wanted to keep him busy because Hera's going to miss these militia completely. He'll see the barracks, but he also knows that Viper's in Feudal Age, so it could be an archer range play. He did see the spearmen coming forward, though. So maybe that gives him an indication of what's happening. He's sending the scout back, and he's going to try and track these units as he goes for walls on this side and kind of walls in the wood line in an interesting fashion with that stable. Hera scouting the rest of his pawn too so he's on the lookout for the water contest he needs to scout this area I, I i don't like the fact he's leaving this in the dark even if he suspects it's land pressure i don't think that's a good idea there could theoretically be a dock here so that's a little bit weird but he'll see the militia coming in don't think there's a hole anywhere and Viper will just opt to attack that house. Viper already coming in uh, with archers. Should Viper just go kill the dock? No, I think that's a waste of time. I think you gotta try and get your uh, your damage window in here. There is a spearman with these men at arms, so can't be cleared up by the scouts. And Harris forced to add an archer range too, as he walls to this water now. Viper's still not contesting his water, but he does have a villager over here, although he clicked it on the shore fish waiting for the wood and now sends it back to create that dock. So he's going to start fishing on this side. And he's in. Oh boy, this is rough for Hera. He's going to lose at least a villager, probably two here. Oh boy, this is rough for Hera. What is going on, Hera? He's going to lose three villagers here. Viper putting the pressure down. And these are Japanese men at arms. These are no joke. That's four vills down. That is four villagers down. The wood line is denied. Viper is crushing Hera in this game so far. The scouts are coming forward. Hera has had a comeback yesterday with Bulgarians. But that was when he was already in Castle Age. That he lost those villagers. He is still not close to Castle Age right now. And the only thing he has is scouts. And Viper... Well, Viper has a better fishing economy than him. Seventh fishing ship on the way. Hera has seven plus one on the way right now, but Viper is Japanese. And Viper has access to two pawns. Japanese men at arms are crazy. And look at this play from Viper. He knows there's only one Vil. There's only one Vil. I'll just... 
I'll just see myself out. Thank you. Under and out of that TC. As Viper makes his way around to the gold in the wood line, and Hera has to panic wall again. Lots of wood in the bank for Hera. What is he going to do with it? It looks like he's going to contest the pawns over here. He's going to send the villager forward. I think Viper, though, taking that fish, might be able to see this in time. The scouts are at the back here from Hera. Viper goes for some quick houses there to keep those out. And he's going to push those away with the archers and the spearmen. And Viper doesn't see the docks. There's an opportunity for Hera. This Viper is still at the back here with the Men at Arms. This is tournament winning Viper form. Yeah, we. Uh, this is this is really good Viper. I mean, he's got a, a dock over here too, and Harris is forced to contest to keep his fish alive, and he has a lot of fish here. He's got nine fish here. He needs to win this water battle. It could be an argument even for a second dock over here just to make sure you win this. His Viper's economy behind this looking pretty nice. He's about to click up. He clicks up. 13 and a half minutes. <sighs> this is tough. And he hasn't lost any of his archers either, folks. He's kept his arch archer mass alive. He didn't even send them forward. He did all this damage with a spearman, a scout, and three men at arms. As the first fire galley comes out. And Viper. Well, Viper doesn't see this yet. Okay, he sees it now. Hasn't gone for a fire galley yet, so at risk of losing all these fish. And Hera finally clears these up. Viper will start repairing this fire galley. Still doesn't have a fire galley queued over here. Maybe hasn't noticed. And Hera comes over here to contest this pond. Viper will not see that villager with the scout. Close call there. Close call. And he loses the villa over here, so a good couple minutes here for Hera. But remember, Viper is a minute away from Castle Age, and Hera is, isn't even up to Castle yet. As he pushes back the fish over here, and Viper forced to go for a fire galley. It's going to be two fire galleys against not even one created over on this side. Viper needs to start getting his food eco sorted on land, I think, because he's going to lose this these fish over here. He does have a lot of food in the bank, and he's going for armor bloodlines now, so it'll be knights for Viper. In addition to the archers he has looping around. But when he loses the fish, it's going to be rough. And Hera's actually just going for fishing ships. Oh, no. Does not realize Viper is over on this side. Meanwhile, in the center, lots of scouts for Hera, so he has... An opportunity to dive on this army. I think this army dies. Doesn't really find much value if Hera tracks it. But the knights will. It's only one stable, however. So Viper maybe not taking full advantage of his time window. Not going for crazy army production. Just getting the war galley upgrade. Hera pulling the villagers away on time. Should have been tracking this army for a very long time. This is not a surprise for this to show up at his woodline. But he does a good job to save all the vills. As he's now fully focusing on this dock over here. And is forced to keep creating uh, fire galleys to take this out. War galley upgrade is in. So fire ships are in now for Viper. Skirmishers should be able to deal with the spearmen. Scouts will collapse on the crossbows. And this army doesn't find any value for Viper. Beyond killing a couple skirmishers. Maybe he can kill a villager. But Hera clears that up. And Hera's on the way to Castle H. So decent. Actually, really good recovery from Hera. Provided he doesn't lose too many vills to this knight. It's been a really, really good couple of minutes here. Hera has taken back control of his main pawn. Viper's still contesting it a little bit. Uh, Hera has killed all of Viper's fish over here. And Hera does have, like, look at the population right now. What the hell? 72 against 50? Oh my god. Viper. Kind of crazy, dude. Losing those fish really hurt him. Upgrade is in for Viper. Hera going for a demo over here. Hera still has three fire galleys, and Viper's not taking out the weak one. Okay, now he shifts, but it won't be in time. 
And that's enough for Hera to uh, keep contesting this, this water over here. Both players just fishing in peace over on this side, by the way. Uh-oh. This is bad for Hera. Viper with the upgrade. He saved up the fire galleys in this dock. Looks like he might have even gone for a demo to help clear that. And Hera's going to lose his fish on this side. He is going to get to Castle H with a decent amount of resources, though. He's going for two extra stables. And this might be a repeat of what happened against Vinchester with Hera just spamming knights. Trying to get the victory as he loses his fish on this side. Another dock over here for Hera as he finds the villager from Viper. And both players going for fire ships. Hera getting that war galley upgrade at home. And they'll cancel each other out over on this pond. Hera will lose all his fish though. He had a good couple minutes there. Viper managing to clear up the fishing ships from Hera. And there goes the food eco for him. And the population is balanced out once again with a lead for the Viper. As he adds that third TC, but only one of those TCs is working. His food eco is super down bad. Second and third archer range. Viper makes his way into cav archers. And there is a hole. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, nervous times there. I don't even know if there was a hole there. It feels like the blacksmith and the tree were blocking it, but Viper taking no chances. No chances at all. Those scouts could have caused a lot of problems. Fifty-one bills for Viper, thirty-nine for Hera. Huge villager discrepancy in that fight against Vinchester as well. But Hera managed it with the Bulgarians. With the night spam. Viper just still building up cav archers from three ranges. He has lost this pawn over here. And Hera has five ships. Viper has one crouching tiger hidden fishing ship over on this side. But Hera should be able to fish boom on this, this area now. Viper's food eco is still looking dire. Really needs farms and he's adding some right now. Maybe if he clears this up, he can start adding fishing ships again, which is what he's doing. And he can start fishing up here, too. Here with 11 knights, only the plus one armor against these cav archers. Elite Skirm is on the way for him, and he's got more population than Viper now. Population number is very competitive here. But villager numbers firmly in favor of Viper. However, that will change if Hera manages to find a hole. And it will change quickly. I don't think he's going to be afraid to just run in with the knights. Why not dock the free punt? That's an excellent question, actually. <laughs> it's an excellent question. Okay, Viper's starting to fish up here again. And Viper's starting to fish over here. So his food eco is going gonna, is gonna to balance out really nicely here in a few minutes. Hera will be adding more fish over on this side. He already lost like seven or eight over there. And Hera going for that plus two armor now. He might just try and brute force his way into Viper's base. He might try and brute force his way in here. If he can find a hole, if he can find a gap with that plus two armor. Crossbows, or sorry, not crossbows, cab archers looping around the back, but there are skirmishers there from Hera. Still only fletching and still no armor upgrades for those skirms, so. Viper can be a little bold when engaging against those. Now Hera's looking for a way in, but Viper's just sitting behind with cab archers. 21 cab archers now for Viper. Seems like a good mass. It's a very difficult position for Hera. Only one TC against three TC. 62 bills for Viper, 46 for Hera. And Viper goes for the market. Might think about a university soon, too. And he'll just continue uh, massing the cav archers as Bodkin comes in for Hera. Very quickly with Bulgarians. Cav archers looping around from behind. He kind of needs the armor, too. Though I feel like he's going to play the micro game with the skirmishers and just hope to out micro Viper. That's a good start, taking down two cav archers. As Viper quick walls around the knights, he's going to get the TC up. He'll be perfectly fine over here. 
And Hera needs to retreat once again. Viper's still no university. Can't get ballistics yet. Has 26 cav archers though. And he's looking for value over on this side. And oh boy, oh boy, looking for value. Value found. Value found here, folks. Viper makes his way into this wood line. He could just snipe Vils. But he can't one-shot them. Oh. Oh. Oh, he can't one-shot them. Actually kind of bad that he can't one-shot them. He's going to lose a lot of cab archers. I'm not sure that's value found. Meanwhile, at the front here, Harris still trying to push in. 71 Vils for Viper, 49 for Hera. It's definitely in Viper's favor here, but there is a chance. There is a chance for Hera. And that's not the greatest engagement for Viper at all. The back here. Viper should never lose this. You're probably right. But we've seen him lose from similar positions before. No player that's ever ahead by even 1% should ever lose a game, you know? But they do. They do. Second TC from Hera, four TCs from Viper. Ballistics coming in now, 25 Cav Archers, 20 Knights, 10 Skirmishers. This is an army that can die and Hera's gonna force the issue with a crep post here. These Cav Archers, if they take a bad engagement, can be cleared up by this many Knights and the Skirmishers. And Hera is going, with that crep post there, is going to force Viper to take an engagement. However, Viper has enough stone for a counter castle. So I feel like this may be a situation where Hera comes forward with this crep post, pushes the Cav Archers back, Viper drops a castle here <coughs> to defend this, and Hera puts his crepus even further forward. Lol. <laughs> oh! Oh, it was at 9 HP! It was at 9 HP! There's the castle from Viper. Needs to delete this mining camp, I think. Knights are coming in. And the castle is forced back! The castle is forced back! Hera is getting really belligerent. He knows he needs to force the issue. And Viper goes for the castle in this position. He won't be able to deny that crep post. Still has the cav archers back here. And Hera, now with that crep post, can focus his attention on another area and go for another TC. Another good couple minutes here for Hera. Don't know if he can't range these villagers. Okay, he can range the ones on the wood line. He's still killing vills over here. Eighty-seven villagers for Viper, fifty-seven for Hera. Twenty-two knights though. And the plus two armor is coming in. It's I mean it's difficult for Viper to push out against this, right? If he loses his army, he knows he's in a terrible position, regardless of his economy. If he loses all these cav archers and Hera still has army left over, I think Viper's at a disadvantage. So he can't push out. He's gotta just defend for the time being. Castle taking a long time to take out that Krepos. TC still denied over here and another Krepos forward. Dangerous times for Viper here. We said he should never lose from that position. He's still, I think, in a winning position with the superior economy. But Hera's really taking it to him here. Husbandry on the way. Manganel is on the way out for Viper. Don't believe that's going to be in time. Hera's still sniping villagers, still pushing the cav archers back. No ballistics for Hera. No eco upgrades for Hera. <laughs> he only has the first wood upgrade. Pog. <laughs> now he's taking out the blacksmith. Maybe the mangonel will be in time. Maybe it will. 75%. The Krepus is at 65 only. Mangonel might be in time here. Ah, uh, he ejects it this way. Okay. It's not. Viper goes for a ram. Viper can take out this Krepos with a ram and clear this area up. But Hera is still pushing in. Hera is still pushing here. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging Viper is off the gold at the front here. Where is his gold? Right back here. Uh, Does he have another one? Does he have another one? That's the only gold he has access to right now. I guess there's a gold over here he can take. 
Harry's not paying attention. Also has 30 cav archers now. No armor upgrades at all for those cav archers, by the way. Doesn't matter that much against elite skirms, but still, it's a nice thing to have. Especially if the knights engage against you. <laughs> Viper's searching for that big shot with the mangonel. And now he buys another castle. He's going to place it right here. Oh, that's not good. Viper is targeting the Krepos with his castle. And the ram is going to go down for free from that knight. And Viper targets it way too late. That's a very frustrating one for Viper there. As he gets a great attack round with that mangonel. He's looking for another big one against the skirmishers. Hera needs to pull back. Knights are dying here. Knights are dying. Skirmishers coming in, though. And now they're sniping the cab archers, but the castle will go up. The castle is at 94% right now. Hera's going to lose a lot of his units. Viper garrisons the cab archers. Lots of damage coming from this castle now. Hera is pushing in, trying to deplete the numbers from Viper. But I think he's lost too much of his army. As Viper goes up to Imperial Age, we just want to see probably a tech switch from Viper at some point. Hera's at 86 villagers, so he's not too far behind. He goes for that fourth TC now. Probably want to see a tech switch away from the... Like, the Cav Archers just aren't getting it done. Even if he gets to Imperial Age, the Cav Archers are just not getting it done yet. Now the Ram comes out for this crep post, and Viper has completely chopped this area. And he's chopping this area, too. He definitely needs map control. Gold upgrades coming in. Hera got, uh, Hera got horse collar, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's got the first wood upgrade and horse collar. Eco upgrades completely overrated. And Hera adds more archer ranges. Does he go into more skirmishers? It looks like it. Also looks like he wants another Krepos up here to control this area. And Viper shifts over to this side. Viper switching into light cav now. Probably decent. Given the amount of skirms that Hera has been producing. And ooh. Really nice little clean. Three archer ranges. Three barracks. Two archer ranges. Three barracks rather. Hera makes another Krepos in the center too. As the battering ram from Viper will take this one down. That's a good ram from Viper. Supported by the castle. Pikeman light cav play from Viper. 111 villagers, 106 now for Hera. But he is not up to Imperial Age. Look at the fishing situation. Viper has found this pond, and that's going to give him a lot of good food eco. And look at this, 58 on food now for him. Food economy has stabilized a lot. It's looking way better for Viper. Still can't fully access this gold, though. And he's losing villagers over here to this Krepos that he can't take out yet. He's forced to go for some trebuchets to clear that up. As he goes Skirmisher, Bracer, Mining Upgrade. Cav Archer's looping around this way. He's not adding any more Cav Archers. So just try and find as much value as possible. If you sit like right here, you can find a lot. I think still has some fish available to him on this pond. Hera over here still has fish available. And Hera's on the way to Imperial Age as Viper finally starts to take Relics. Very late in the game. For Viper to be taking relics, usually he starts taking that like minute, minute five. <laughs> He's grabbing relics. Yo, what's up, Endurance? How's it going, dude? Bulgarians are tough, man. Bulgarians are tough. Once they start that spam, especially the way Hera's been playing them, Viper had a huge ball of cav archers, and Hera just pulls himself back into the game with aggression. And the Krepos enable you to get those forward positions, really force fights that Viper doesn't want to take. Viper has enough stone for another castle. Where do we think that castle is going to go? He's coming out here to take this stone. Feels like that castle needs to go over here somewhere, or maybe over here. We'll see. Hera goes for a castle on this hill. It's a good thing he's adding a castle there, not a Krepos. Give him access to stirrups. Give him access to conscription, to trebs. 
Very, very nice. And Viper, ooh, getting a little bit aggressive with his castle play. He does have Hounds and he does have Skirmishers, so he should be able to support this. He saw a hill and he's going to take it. As the Cav Archers loop back around this way to try and find Villagers. Skirmishers kind of out of range, so he might kill a few. What does Hera do here? He goes into Cavalier, potentially, but Cavalier doesn't feel good against the Japanese Halberdier. Feels like he's just kind of forced into Skirms at the moment. Skirms just aren't enough as Viper adds more barracks, more archery ranges. Skirms just aren't enough here for Hera. Arbalist. Arbalist with the trebs behind them to take out the buildings, with the halbs in front of them to protect. Could be really dangerous. Hera now has a villager lead. He's at 141 villagers. Going to try and drag himself back into this game once again with Stirrups Hussar. Which can be very, very strong. But remember, Japanese have faster attacking infantry. And they do have Halberdier and Vipers already teched into it. So it could be an issue there. Gold is being contested up here. Krepos can't quite range that from Viper. As Viper goes for Elite Samurai. Pog, dude. We've seen more Samurai in this tournament than I've seen in the last, like, two years. I saw Elite Samurai yesterday from Vinchester, too, against Hera. It's Hera's weakness. It's his kryptonite. And I love Samurai. They produce so quickly. Viper now castling this hill over here. Only one villager. Only needs one. No, he's sending a few more. Okay. Samurai are in. Samurai counters Hera because Hera is unique. Yes, he's a beautiful butterfly. He's very unique. Okay, gold is under Hera's control. Viper taking the gold over here. Where are the other golds for Viper? He still has a gold over here. He's going to need to control that, which he kind of does with this castle. I'd love to see a wall over here, too, from Viper. That'd be great. Are there any other golds on this map? He's got stone there. Still has gold here. Maybe he doesn't notice this gold, honestly. It's kind of hidden behind the buildings, and he is playing yellow. So maybe it, it all just blends in. This Viper takes out the TC. Going to take out this university. Harris still without the second wood upgrade. Still without the second farm upgrade. He does have handcart now, though. So I guess that's something. As Viper has 24 elite samurai. Send in the boys. Send in the boys. Absolutely nuking the farms from Hera. <laughs> and Hera's going to lose this Krepos over here too. Samurai are going in against the Krepos. Didn't stand a chance. Didn't need any siege for that one. Just kills it with samurai. And the slow but steady push continues from Viper. You might even make an argument here for Yasama Towers, potentially secure the area. But I think just another castle would probably be good over on this side somewhere. Hera's going to come in for another raid. The Halberdiers are here, but they just pass right past that army from Hera as Viper continues to pick away at the front. Samurai going in. And when they finally reach these, oh, when they finally reach these skirmishers, it's going to be trouble for the skirms. Can rip through those. This is bad for Viper, though. He's down to 104 vils. His army number is going to expand, but if he's not careful, his eco could fall behind. As he's wide open on that side. Samurai, though, is still working well on the skirmishers. Trebuchet is still behind. As Viper now gets thumb ring and continues to build... Oh, he's building his samurai number. He's not really building his arbalist count that much is controlling this gold over here though which is great long term for viper did Hera get stirrups i'm assuming so did anyone see it come in meanwhile at the back some raids from the halberdiers that'll be cleared up by Hera. skirmishers going down that actually kind of adds value for Hera or for viper it was pop space that was being taken up by skirmishers which really don't have that much utility at the moment click a hussar you can see the attack speed I don't, like, 
I, I don't know the <laughs> I don't know the normal attack speed, bro. <laughs> I have nothing to compare it to. <laughs> How do Samurai do versus Begains, boys? Uh, it's still feel- Samurai still have a decent attack, and they have a really fast attack rate. So it feels like they would do okay. There's the castle from Viper. It's gonna kinda secure this side. Still an issue for him. You can see all the villagers he lost over here. But that's pushing into Hera's farmland. And Hera is losing his main army here. The samurai are absolutely dumpstering this army from Hera. Stirrups what? I don't even know if he has stirrups yet, but the skirmishers stand no chance. And Viper will take care of this trebuchet too. And he might just want to attack the castle with the, with the samurai, to be honest. I just want to take this out, if he can. Samurai feasting, yep. Yep. Villagers repairing the trebs. Viper has only made two trebs this game. And he's kept them alive. And he's taken out the castle. And the castle is up over here. Hera is losing villagers. Looks like we're going to have a 2-0 in favor of Viper. He's 200 population. Hera is at 127. It's been a phenomenal effort from Hera to keep himself in this game. It was a belligerent push in Castle Age. It's what he needed to do. But Viper, the economy from him, is finally catching up. Hera calls the GG, and Viper's up 2-0. Viper's up 2-0 here. And he's looking... Viper's looking really good. Like, Hera got it balanced out there. He took back a couple pawns from Viper, right? Went to fishing again. Really good transition period where he was stuck in feudal. He made his way to the Castle Age without taking any damage. Pushed in the front of Viper's base. Viper massing CA, which weren't really all that effective. Um, but then the economy just, it, it was like a switch being flipped, right? Viper gets to Imperial Age, goes into Skirmishers, Samurai, Halberdier, Trebs, Bop. And this is peak Viper right here. This is, this is peak Viper. He's looking great. Looking really good. The patience from him is looking phenomenal. Harris not looking bad today either. we we'll go back to the draft screen and we can wonder about what the next map is coming up. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for the follows as well. Roadrunner, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Leash, thank you for the four months, dude. My colleges, thank you. Appreciate it. We go into game three. This is gonna be I feel like this is gonna be a good series. If Hera takes the next game, it's gonna be a good one. If Hera loses the next game, it's gonna be really tough for him to come back. Win for Viper on four lakes. And of course he wins with Japanese there. Japanese, this is the tournament where I've seen the Japanese the most. Of like any tournament in the last like that I can remember. I see Japanese in every single set. Harris draft was a, was a disaster. Is it? Let's look at the uh, let's look at the um the maps here. Migration. He's got Italians for migration. Land madness. He's got Frank's Khmer. Arena, he's got Bohemians, Burmese. Oh, Koreans for migration, potentially, too. Arabia, he's got Britons, Franks, Turks. Well, Turks for Arena as well. The only question, really, for me... Kind of like... I guess Koreans on migration and Italians on Scandinavia. And then Sakatra is going to be Khmer. Britain's on Arabia. Frank's on Land Madness. And then Yucatan would be Bohemians. Or 
or is Yucatan going to be Turks and Arena's going to be Bohemians? Or maybe Burmese, fuck. We go into migration now, and it's Koreans versus Berbers. Okay. Now, we talked about the Civ matchup, Koreans versus Vikings, being kind of unfortunate for the Vikings. Um, Koreans versus Byzantines may be a little bit unfortunate for the Koreans, but Koreans versus Berbers, it's a Civ matchup I don't see very often. Camel Archers versus Wagons. Camel Archers get the bonus damage against Wagons. Are they considered Cav Archers because they have a horse? And <laughs> Are they considered Wagon Archers? <laughs> Wait, there's a guy on Spain called Enchilada? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Love enchiladas. Fires can catch up the galleys with Berbers. Yeah, Berbers have faster ships, which is great. Stevio, thank you for the gift sub to Debbie. Only Yo has a chance against tournament mode Viper. Just wait. Just wait. Harris going for Koreans again. I think Koreans are really good on nine villager starts. Because um, you're kind of negating some of the early game eco bonuses that the other civs have. A little bit anyway. And they're good on migration. Cheaper wood costs on the ships. Also, you can go into keeps to secure the map. You have stuff like bomber cannons in the middle. Really, really nice. You get the archer armor for free, which makes your transitions a little bit faster. You have access to turtle ship if you really need it. Although we haven't seen it yet. And here we go. Migration. We got some corner bases here. Corner base here for Hera. Corner base for Viper. North-south setup. And they're very far away from each other. Might benefit Hera if he's going for a faster Castle Age play. Might benefit Viper because of the speed of his ships. Yet to be seen as Viper is looking around for these sheep. Sheep are at the front, though. Sheep be at the front, though. Can he find him? He's going to have to push the... He doesn't even see his deer, bro. <laughs> okay, there they are. <laughs> Unfortunate generation there for Viper. <laughs> How much wood is in this map? That's a good question. Uh, only 108k. Only 100... Wait, we forgot the straggler trees. 113k. 113k wood. That's all we got. That's all we got. So we're on the, we're on the clock. We are on the clock. Didn't Hera go Koreans on migration before? He did. A little bit of annoying deer here for Hera up against the edge of the map. He needs to distract them once before they can go. And these deer are causing him problems. But maybe we get the we get the double deer lure. Double deer push. The double D. Not happening. The fascinating things we talk about early game migration. Both players now have a fishing ship coming out. Berber fishing ships should technically be better because they're a little bit faster. Just like the villagers should technically be better. Is the Fotoria our that Portuguese building an option? Uh, with Koreans versus Berbers? No, the Fotoria is not an option. Nope. What is the move speed comparison? Oh, big, big questions. 1.39 on these fishing ships, 1.26. Villager is 0 0.88. Versus uh, 0 0.80. So. I don't know why I say 0 0.80. Can I just say 0 0.80? Why do I, like, can I just say 0 0.8? I don't know. We need it for clarity. Ah. Okay. 
I've managed to finally make it past 1k ELO with this map in the pool, going to miss it when it rotates out. Just, uh, how about, how about you have some belief in yourself, my guy? How about you have some belief in yourself? Does anyone believe that multiplayer Tim, does anyone believe that multiplayer Tim can stay above 1k ELO when migration is gone from the map pool? I think he can. His name is multiplayer Tim. It's not single player Tim. He's a multiplayer Tim. No? Tim sucks? Bro, Tim. Tim, we will be watching your career with great interest. I believe. Go, Tim. We get a poll for Tim. Tim is the worst. <laughs> Tim! <laughs> this is deep Tim territory. That's right. Deep Tim territory. <laughs> Stevie, thank you for the 500. Mean words upcoming. All my homies dislike Tim. All his homies dislike Tim. Well, that's maybe they're Arabia players. They're not Migra players. Who's Tim? How dare you? How dare you? Who megalol Tim? <laughs> Tim is a legend. Okay, it's three docks here for Hera. Second dock is on the way for Viper, and Hera has much faster. Feudal Age timing than Viper, but it looks like Viper's going to play an FC build. That's what it looks like. Or maybe just fires in defense. Probably just fires in defense into a faster Castle Age time. He's gone for the seventh fishing ship now. He's building a third dock. Hera's going for the galleys. Korean galleys are cheaper on the wood cost. Once again, he's got his scout patrolling over here. Remember, that came in big against Vinchester when he lost his scout because it was patrolling and he couldn't really contest the middle with the monks because of it. But the scout is giving him extra vision on if Viper sneaks ships around here. Viper in the Feudal Age. Fishing difference is seven fishing boats to four from Hera. And Viper is actually going into galleys. Okay, so he's just going for a slightly later build. Does have three galleys in production, though. Kind of stalled out that third one. Probably because he spent the extra wood on the fishing ships. And the vote is that multiplayer Tim will be remaining above 1k ELO. That's what the people say. Multiplayer Tim will be remaining above 1k ELO in this next split without migration. See, Tim? People believe. When is Tim playing? <laughs> exactly. Good question. <laughs> Okay, so speed differential on the galleys is 1.57 versus 1.43. It's not going to help him very much, though, if the galleys are red on his ass. Viper's going to take a little bit of chip damage, but he will be able to get away. Berber should have the advantage in these uh, in these micro fights, just because they're faster. Viper is faster to fletching, though. This is concerning for Hera, because his ships can catch up. Now he's got more, too. Quite concerning for Hera. Fletching is now in. Viper's gonna get some damage on Hera's galley here. He might actually kill it. Good defensive posturing there from Hera to save that galley for as long as possible. I think the galley's still gonna die. He's sending another group of galleys around this side. Hera's got almost 500 food in the bank. Viper with 300 right now. Eco should continue to climb though for Viper because he has more fishing ships and he's winning. Oh god, he's winning these engagements so convincingly. Viper is going to save this ship too. He doesn't. Why not just send it this way? Why send it back? Confusing. Anyway. Hera will get here and start attacking these fishing ships right away. Gonna find that galley from Viper, but numbers for Hera are really gonna struggle to meet up, I think. He's got three more galleys coming along this way, but Viper still has an army at the back here. It should be enough to defend. Still has not lost a fishing ship. Galleys are so small and cute. Yes, they are very kawaii. Lost one. Yep, KD is 3 to 1. Here for Viper. Hera has a 1 HP ship over here, too.
Ooh, transport ship already on the way for Viper, and he's the first one to hit the market. So Viper will be the first one on the main island. First one to Castle Age. Harris still has an advantage on the number of ships as Viper stalls out his production a little bit to get that transport ship and to click up. So maybe Hera can snowball here, but it's going to be difficult for him. Remember that game against Winchester? He was late to go to the middle. That's maybe, we identified that as maybe a reason that he lost it. Just kind of lost control at some point. He is on the way to Castle Age himself now. Um, and his three villagers ahead. Viper with a little bit of idle TC time. But still not making a transport ship as Hera. Going to be a big battle over here. Big, big battle. And I think the timing is all wrong here for Viper. The timing is very wrong. He's got 13, nine ships against 13, and he's heading out when he's on the way to Castle Age before any of these upgrades. But he is Berber, so he will have time to run away. And that's what he's going to do. Hera's going to want to take this fight. As soon as he sees Vipers in Castle Age, he's going to want to press this. If he's in a position to do so, anyway. Might decide to turn around, but this is great for Hera. This is fantastic for Hera. Really, really good. He's finding value before Viper gets the upgrades. I can't believe he didn't kill those two ships, bro. They were right. If you just don't click and you just stop micro your uh, your galleys, they snipe those automatically. Kind of nuts, but maybe he didn't notice that two of those were one shot away from death. He did manage to clear up one. He sees Castle Age coming in for Viper, and now he comes forward. So Viper has two more ships that are incredibly weak. And Hera's going to be sniping down this navy. Viper with some good micro here, though. Viper with some good micro. He got Bodkin. Now Hera's in trouble. Hera gets the Castle Age. He's thinking about Bodkin as well. Viper going this way with galleys to try and snipe the fish. Now war galleys. The scout is hanging out on the shoreline, so Hera might lose that scout again, which is kind of important when you're contesting relics in the middle. Viper... Has gone for the Monastery already, making a TC in the center. And Bodkin is in for Hera. Once Bodkin is in, I think you can turn around and fight this, maybe? Waiting for War Galley first. It's a lot of weak galleys here. A lot of weak galleys. Holy. Hera's still without a transport ship to make his way to the center. KD is one in favor of Viper. And he's got three war galleys here being incredibly annoying on Hera's side. Hera's production on war galleys, one in the queue. That's not enough to save his fish. He's going to have to run away. Or send units back from this army that was forward. Big engagement over here, though. Viper could still lose water against Hera. Hera has 16 ships versus the 13 from Viper. As he queues up a few more war galleys, I think Viper lost his first two fishing ships there. No. About to lose one. No. Doesn't even lose one. Damn. Still no transport for Hera. Ballistics is in, but still no transport. Docks will go down, but dare I say it again, still no transport. Okay, was that a transport? I saw it in the queue for a second. Okay, he's making it. He's making a transport. So he's going to get onto the the middle, but Viper already second TC there. 42 villagers against 42 from Hera. A little bit of idle TC time creeping in there for Viper. And he's snagging the relics already. Second relic on the way towards the monastery. Now, Hera has more ships because Viper sacrificed production. Hera might win the water here. Can he keep control on land, though? Can he land on the land in the middle? Will Viper even let him? Second relic, third relic on the way in now. Viper comes for the big engagement. Hera needs to realize that he actually does have more ships here. I think Viper's trying to bait Hera into coming in close and then going to get him with the demo, and the demo just doesn't work. Hera has ballistics too, so Viper has to be careful. He does not have ballistics here. 
And Hera, it looks like Hera is going to control the water. He'll kill the transport ship from Viper. He's going to cut off Viper's home island. So, even though Viper got to the middle first and he's expanding with TCs, this game is still possible for Hera if he controls this middle area, this water area, which it looks like he's going to do. Germany scored against Spain. There we go. Nice block from Hera. You see him set up in the line formation, preventing those ships from going through. Oh, man. And beautiful block from Hera. Wonderful positioning there. He didn't want Viper to just run away and then go snipe all his stuff at home. That was fantastic from Hera. Really, really good positioning. Offside. Oh, rip. Viper going for a forward dock now. Does Harris see that? He can't. Oh, boy. We'll see another TC from Viper, though. And he goes for his first TC along the edge of the water. Viper might surprise here. Go for fires here, potentially. Feels like war galleys from this are a waste. And Harris spots the dock. Sends a war galley over immediately. And it is fire ships from Viper. Viper's main base is completely cut off now. He should never get back on water. Not against this. Not on this side. He's going to need to do so likely from the middle. And Hera's score is showing a lot higher than Viper because of the water control. Viper is 11 villagers ahead though and kind of has great control over the middle as he gets his fifth relic into the, mon into the monastery. Into the monastery. Thank you. Uh oh. Fox in the hen house. Fox in the hen house. Fire in the fishing house. Good job from Hera to make docks around the edge here. I think he's going to start fishing on the edges. Um, his fishing ships are running out of food in front of his main dock. So he's going to start fishing along the sides. Take full advantage of that. Viper coming over now with monks. And these are kind of exposed to the war galleys. But Hera's not really paying attention to what's happening over here. So he might actually lose this villager. He does lose the dock villager. And kills her for the betrayal. But Viper now going for a castle on this side. Uh-oh. This looks awfully similar to what happened to Harry last time on migration against Winchester. It's looking really similar. Harry's just going to keep on running. Viper will keep on denying positions. Harry will have water control. But uh, Viper won't let him get safe TCs down anywhere. Guard towers. Could go for guard towers to secure. If you're Hera, for sure. And he's going to lose that scout. That's uh, that's that's pretty bad, right? No, he's not even converting it. He shifted off converting it. He went to the villagers instead. And he's going to lose both of those monks. And Hera manages to save the scout. And I think he's going to go back and snipe this monk too. Kind of sloppy there from Viper. He should have killed that. He should have killed that scout for sure. Berbers can't get sanctity, by the way. If you're wondering. Do not have access to it. And Hera goes for a castle. This looks really familiar to that game against Vinch. <laughs> Hera's doing a great job of holding uh, water control, though, as Viper goes for a tower on this side. Watchtower to maybe try and clear up this area. I think one thing Hera needs to do is space his his war galleys out along the main island, too, so Viper can't redock easily. As the game is paused now. Viper has paused the game and he says, sec. Okay. 82 vills against 67. Gold eco is looking really good for Hera. Viper is getting a heavy plow. Viper is getting his food economy set up. He does not have any fishing ships. 14 fishing ships for Hera. I still think... I don't know who's in the lead here. Because Hera's denying all these resources from Viper. Hera has a lot of gold in the bank, but Viper has this fantastic map position in the middle, and he's got four stables set up. 
And I just wonder if Hera can continue to extend his control on this area, even with the water control here. I wonder if Viper's going to allow him to do that. It's not a great engagement here for Viper. Not at all. He's going to lose those knights. Hera now has control over this area. Viper going to this gold over here. Trying to save as many knights as he can. He's going to lose this one too. Not a, He's going to lose all the knights. Bro, not a good engagement for Viper. As he has a Mangano coming out now. But War Wagons can be added here from Hera. Remember, no Sanctity on these monks available for the Berbers. And that's big against War Wagons. His monks are a good counter to them. But if they have no Sanctity, the War Wagons can actually kill them quite quickly. Like, Watchtowers is just not it against War Galleys, right? <laughs> War Galleys getting the extra bonus damage against buildings, you can see. Seven against buildings. It just doesn't... That's just not it. As Viper tries to go up to the Imperial Age, Hera also banking. Viper's going to get there first, though. And Hera is going to go for another TC on this side. Also killed that monk. Going to kill the Mangano with the War Wagons. For sure going to kill the Mangano with the... Hello? <laughs> surprise, surprise! The Watchtower is dying. Good quick walls from Hera over here. Good quick walls from Hera over here. Stop those knights from denying the TC. Hera's up to Imperial Age as, as well. And I think... I think I'm starting to favor Hera's position here a little bit. Just because of the water control. Viper, however, does have enough stone. If Viper gets a good castle, then things will start to look good for him. And it looks like he's going to go for a castle over here to deny this. That could be big. That could be really, really big for Viper. If he can just hold Hera off of the stones and the golds, could be massive. Does Hera see that? He does. He sees it. He's not bringing his, his war wagons, though. He's making a castle over here, and he wants to contest this castle in Imperial Age with Trebs. That's what it looks like anyway. Feels like he could just bring his war wagons over there and fight that, though. As he takes out the Mangonel from Viper. It's not that many villagers building. It's seven. He hasn't even attempted to go over there to deny that. He's busy with the army on this side. Viper maybe needs his next castle over here. Would definitely like to see him get back on water, but I don't know if Berbers do Berbers get fast fire ship? I'm not I'm not sure. Nice tower here from Hera. Really, really good stuff. Also Kazba coming in for Viper. So his castles produce faster. They do? Okay. Be really nice for him to get fast fire and just clear up all this stuff for free. Five relics inside here. Potential for Hera to take those. Oh my god, I thought that was the imp TC for a second. That's the wheelbarrow TC. <laughs> Bro, I thought that was the I thought that was the imp TC, my dude. Oh boy. Castle is being attacked. Hera, of course, has access to bomber cannons, but so does Viper. Hera, attack this monastery. Eject the relics. You can do it for free with the war wagons here. He's going to send them back over this way, I guess. Chemistry immediately coming in for him. Bracer also coming in for him. Viper's still building up camel archers and light cav. He's getting that final armor upgrade. Now, wagons are tough. Wagons have a lot of damage potential. Especially once Camistry comes in. Maybe a 13 attack. So even with the final armor upgrade, he's going to be doing a lot of damage to these light cav. However, there are Camel Archers to back him up. And I think the Camel Archers are getting bonus damage against the wagons, right? Do wagons have the Cavalry Archer armor? Yeah, they do. Okay. Not a matchup you see very often.
That castle is gonna go down. Great job from Viper. Really, really great job from Viper as Hera just runs right through here. War Wagons have pretty insane Pierce armor, and Hera's gone for another castle over here, and he's taking out the TC. Should take out the monastery. <laughs> That's a lot of relics. Villager count 91 for Hera, 115 for Viper as he adds a monastery of his own. He knows the relics are in there. He knows. And chemistry is in, so bomber cannons can come out, but he doesn't have the wood. Hera does not have the wood. Needs to balance his eco a little bit more. Maybe send these guys on wood. They would be very useful against these trebuchet that are going to take out your castle. Relics eject on that side of the monastery. Potentially pretty unfortunate for Viper. Or sorry, for Hera, that they three of them ejected over there. But two of them ejected on his side, so maybe he can snag those. He can snag them, jump in the castle, drop them off over here, and then do the same thing, which is one monk. Okay, can't do that anymore, but it was an idea. <laughs> Hera now going for a castle on this side. He's got two trips set up to attack this castle. Now, Viper doesn't really have any defenses over here. Just a few villagers to repair. Still pushing on this side, though. And the monk from Hera unable to grab any of those relics. War galleys are on the way, though. They're going to try and support this castle position. Viper's going to try and save his castle. War galley's adding value here. Big value. Wagons are still in. Light Cab are going straight for the villagers. The castle is at 86%. Hera will get this castle up, and Viper has thrown a lot of his military away, but he is killing the war wagons from Hera. And I think he's going to clear up the trebuchet now. Hera's going to eject and try and repair these. Can he save these trebs? Can he save these trebs? The light ever attacking it. One trebuchet goes down. Hera needs to repair this treb too. He does not. Viper's playing crazy right now. Viper is playing nuts right now. Hera still has full water control there, although it looks like Viper... He's going to start contesting with some fast fires of his own. And it's very difficult for war galleys to fight these. Hera might lose his fish. Hera will lose all of his navies. Down to 16 war galleys now. He's gone into Arbalis, but Viper's still pushing with the trebs. And of course, Viper is going to snag these relics once again. Get those back under his control. And Hera's going to lose this castle. This is over, dude. I mean, just fantastic middle control for Viper and... Once again, we just have to question the timing on the transport ship from Hera. Really investing into the water control. Water control is great and everything, but... You let your opponent get five relics before you even make a transport ship? It's not Viper playing good as much as it is Hera trolling. Okay, guy, you don't know anything about the game. Tower over here. From Hera. Villagers trying to save that bomber cannon. They're repairing him. The treb is going to go down for Viper, but Hera is still stuck on this side. Absolutely stuck. Rough day for Canada, and therefore the world. <laughs> That's all right. Four relics still alive! Four relics still con to be contested here in the center. And we have a big army from Hera now. 52 military from Hera. GG. Hera can't do anything against Viper. He got dizzy. Yep, he got dizzy. <laughs> he got dizzy. Viper up 3 nothing, bro. Oh, it's looking rough for Hera. But I did say it at the beginning. A map like Migration, map like Four Lakes, Viper should be favored on those type of maps. Every single time. Water maps, hybrid maps, stuff where it requires like sneaky behavior, map control, game sense. He should be favored. He just has way more experience than Hera. Hera did not play badly here, I think. Just the timing on the transport is a little bit suspect. Once again, two games in a row on migration.
What happened on Arabia? We haven't played Arabia yet. Have not played Arabia yet. Eco is better for Viper. Hera had water control. Didn't matter. Didn't take full advantage of it. And uh, potentially... Could have been another situation where he could have transported Vils over here to make a keep. <laughs> Maybe that's what he needs to do next time. If he's controlling the island, just send the transport over here. Get the villagers on the middle. Especially if you're late. You know, get the Vils on the middle. And then transport over here and make a keep on his main island. Take all these Vils. There's 51. Couple keeps. Who knows? It's a tough position either way. Okay. So... Game three is done. We go into game four. Viper lo leading three nothing. So this is a best of nine. So we have at least two more games to be played. And Viper has played the Berbers there, which is a pick we haven't seen on migration yet. At least I haven't cast it on migration in this tournament. Weird that Hera cho changed nothing about his strategy after losing the same way. Yeah, maybe he thought his loss was only because of some of the fights he took. Or like the order in which he researched upgrades or the unit selection instead of like the timing windows. Maybe he thought the loss was due to something different. And now he's going to kind of look at that game and say like, well, I lost the same way twice. Clearly wasn't an execution issue. It had to do with the the timing and the strategy choice. Way too late to land the island. Yeah. He was up he was up to Imperial Age faster this time. So maybe that's what he identified last time. He wasn't up to imp fast enough to contest Winchester. Who knows? Aaron needs to smoke some weed and power up. What? Does he? Okay, Land Madness coming up. This one should favor Hera. And he's playing Franks against Chinese. So Viper's going to go a little bit greedier. And Hera's going to go for the aggression. Dude, the beat on this song is so hard. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> this might be like the, one of the hardest beats of all time. I used to blast this in my car. Pretty sure I broke like the, the base of my old Ford Contour <laughs> when I was blasting this song. <laughs> Smoke some weed by Ice Cube, if anyone in the VOD is wondering. All right, we get into the next game here. Get into the next game as Viper is up 3-0. We have Franks versus Chinese. Now, the key with Chinese here for Viper. So he has a really great map back here. Damn, dude. He's got a good little setup back here. He, um... For Viper here is to play defensively. Get his eco upgrades. Take advantage of the 12 villagers that you start with. So you're instantly going to have an economic advantage. And you can see only 5 seconds of idle TC time here. With 12 villagers to gather food right away for the Chinese. Uh, and withstand the pressure until you can push back with a superior tech tree in the castle age. The key for Hera. 
do some damage. Keep Viper in his base. Punish the defensive play. And try and gain momentum off of that. And we'll see if Hera can do it. Hera is a very good land madness player. I would prefer, likely prefer him over Viper on this map. Just slightly, just a little couple percentage points. And I think Pharynx is really, really a comfort zone pick for Hera. Uh, it's a Civ that he loves to play with. A Civ that he's very good with. So there are opportunities here for him. Multiplayer Tim, thank you for the four months. He's back. He's back, baby. Tim has returned. Now, Hera, let's take a look at his map. He has, well, he has a pretty good map, too. If we're looking at it, if he wants to go for the big old walls, Hera can go like this and wall to the edge. He can't wall over this rock terrain. And he could, I think he can wall here. And then I think he can find like a little one tile, two tile gap to wall to the edge over here. And he could secure two wood lines, gold, stone, gold, berries at the back. But I think Hera is going to play a little bit more open. Small walls around his wood lines. And try and put the screws into Viper. And Viper is the one that is going to be playing a little bit more defensively here. Now Viper with the wood line so close to the TC could just do small walls here. And maybe a, a couple walls... On this side, and the TC fire might protect him as well. He could wall to the edge of the map if he really wanted to, but... I think he'll just defend with, like, spearmen, towers, etc. And he could even get back here for a nice little cubby area. Alright, what do you guys think? Who do you think wins this? Do you think Hera can take one? Viper's going up. He's got Loom already because of Chinese. Hera's going up 18 villagers. Viper is still ahead by three. Still ahead by three. And Hera doesn't even have Loom. Like, that's the advantage of the Chinese, right? That is the advantage. We, as viewer winning anyway, we will get a great game. Aww. Aww. This is the type of viewer that we like. The overly positive viewer. That's right. That's right. Ban him? <laughs> Ban him. <laughs> He's like a COVID test. He's just too positive. Get him out. Get him out of here. <laughs> okay. Harris still no loom. He's going to go for one extra villager and then he'll go for loom. You can see him trying to lame some of these turkeys and he's idling. You know what? He's idling quite a few villagers. This is really nice from Hera. And he's actually. The turkeys are. The geese are dying. <laughs> Viper trying to block the goose from going away. Hera comes back. Pop. <laughs> no goose for you. <laughs> no goose for you. And that's a little bit of idle time there. From Viper. Hera doing good work with that early scout. And he didn't even take that much damage for it. He's only got... He, he's still got more HP than Viper scout. So that's pretty good engagement so far for Hera. As he opens Spearman scout. And he sends his Spearman forward right away. As Viper goes for a stable of his own. Hera is going to attempt to pressure. Viper will have walls around his... Berries, walls around his wood line, start with the farms already. We can see both the eco upgrades in for Viper already. They are cheaper for him. All technologies are cheaper for the Chinese. Now Hera automatically got the farm upgrade, still does not have the wood upgrade. So he has to make sure to get that. The game is paused. And who is it that paused? It was Viper again. Can we see players' point of view? You mean they're scouting? Hera sees all this from Viper. Viper has just found Hera. I am strong, says Axelus. Okay. Okay. Axelus is strong, guys. He's strong. He's super strong. I'm weak. Oh. Yes. 
How many times can player pause the game? Ten, technically. But uh, we don't know what this was for. Maybe it was like his mouse was disconnecting or something like that. Who knows? Town watch on the way for Viper. Really like that. You're already ahead by villagers. Might as well just sacrifice a little bit of TC time to get town watch. You can see these armies coming in from a ways away. And you can see town watch drastically improves his early warning system for the armies. Now, Hera, is he making an archer range follow up? No, he's just focusing on scouts right now. It's going to be really difficult for him to push in. These woodlands are both very close to the TC, and that's why I said it was an excellent map setup for Viper early. It's going to be hard for Hera to find a place to take fights. It's going to be really, really difficult without just losing HP to that town center. But it will also be difficult for Viper to expand. Like, if Viper wants to go out for this gold, it's going to be tough. If he wants to go out here, it's going to be very tough. And Hera is going to find the Barry villagers back there, fully walled in. These villagers fully walled in. Hera now going for an archer range to make some units to protect that. Viper looking for the reinforcements right now with his scouts and not finding them. But Hera has two scouts in here. Hera can defend. Hera just needs to notice. Viper's going to find that villager, and Hera was waiting for that moment as he loops around with the spearmen and with a couple scouts of his own. Looks like he killed the spearmen from Viper. And he'll be forced to make more. And Viper adds an archer range of his own. So he's going to slowly, slowly branch out for this gold. Hare also chasing away these scouts that were waiting for the reinforcements. Viper did spot the range, so he knows that archers or skirms are coming. It's going to be an archer from Hera. But uh, he doesn't have the two, two scouts forward to track that anymore. So good job from Hera chasing that away. Still no wood upgrade from Hera. Very concerning. Very concerning he doesn't have that. Is there a hole here? No. Good job from Viper to notice that they overforged. Build an extra palisade wall. Scouts coming forward. Scouts are coming forward. There's one spearman here, but it's only one spearman. And there's only one over there too. Potentially concerning there for Hera. Viper coming out here with a villager, but he's got three spearmen. Now four to guard that, so he should be fine. Feels like Viper is being too greedy. That's what you got to do with Chinese, though. You have to play greedy. That's like the whole idea behind the save, right? Is Hera tilted because Canada is out of the World Cup? Yeah, he doesn't follow baseball. <laughs> you either get that joke or you don't. You either get it or you don't. You're either a knower or you're not. <laughs> Viper being very sneaky with these uh, with these scouts. Let's see if Hera has Town Watch yet. <clears throat> he does not. He does not have Town Watch. And that's a lot of spearmen. But the archers are here for Hera. If he has good micro, if he catches the skirmishers out a little bit, the spearmen out of position a little bit, Hera can take a really decisive fight. But it looks like Hera's, Hera has been trapped now. Viper is looping around from the other direction with the scouts. He's still trying to micro down these spearmen. Viper is chasing with the skirmishers, however, and good engagements from both as Viper goes for the armor for his spearmen, making them a little bit less uh, vulnerable in these engagements against the archers and against the scouts, too. And Viper goes for a tower on the gold. Neither player really that close to clicking up to Castle Age. Hera's still adding in scouts here, and he goes for the first armor upgrade. He's got eight scouts on the field versus six on the field from Viper. Still no first wood upgrade for Hera. And Hera takes this engagement. He's trying to micro down the spears. Armor is actually helping out quite a bit here. Armor is helping out quite a bit for Viper. And he gets away with that tower. Hera is now feeling the pressure. Right? He knows he's still behind economically to Viper. Still hasn't gotten that first wood upgrade. Re. He knows he needs to get up to Castle Age. But he also knows the Viper Scouts are nowhere to be found. 
and they could be coming back towards this economy. One Spearman is not going to cut it here. One Spearman is just not going to cut it. Over here or over here. He's going to need more and he's producing more. Is he going to be out in time though? That's the question. His hair comes over. Scouts, nothing to be found. Viper expanding his farm eco. He's got 19 farms now. First Spearman goes down. Hera needs to run. Hera needs to run now. And he does get away. But he is kicked off the gold for now. Coming back with the scouts. He's forced to come back to clear up this army. Otherwise he doesn't get access to gold. And Viper can just run around. Picking off villagers on the farms. Maybe even killing the farms if he wants to. Castle age time is on the way. From Hera. Viper's about to click up. Hera might be at risk of losing six villagers here. There are weak scouts. He's got to be careful, though. Ah, he won't lose six. Even if Viper takes that fight, I think Hera only loses, like, two max. Because the weak scouts. He'll fight with the Vils. And that's good from Hera. Limited idle time. Brings the scouts back. He will... Deal with the scouts from Viper. Viper keeps one at the back of the base. Just to keep tabs on what Hera is doing. But it's bought Viper a lot of time. If Viper goes for the stable, then he'll likely go into camels. As Bloodlines is coming in. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be looking like that first ca first level of uh, the Genghis Khan campaign. <laughs> He's riding in. <laughs> Here come the reinforcements. Viper doing a really good job here. Playing Chinese to perfection. Just kind of slowly reaching out for resources. We can see the military count staying even. 25 military to 22 from Hera. Hera does have a lot of archers, and he's going to get the crossbow upgrade. And uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been real bad if, if Hera got in there, sniped those villagers. He will kill one, and this is going to be the first villager kill of the game. Viper letting her keep farming on that side. Unfortunate for her. Hera is going to lose some vills on this side, though, as Viper comes in. And Viper already has the armor for these scouts, assuming he notices these villagers. And, oh, no, Hera is going for a town center. He's going for a town center on this side. He's still looking for picks. Over here, he's going to get crossbow bodkin and show up on the wood line. This game is opening up. This game is really opening up here. As Hera sends the first knight back over to deal with these scouts and only loses one villager. Viper manages to save the villagers on this side. Hera, though, with scouts and crossbows at the back, and that camel will die to the crossbows. Spearman will also die to the crossbows, so good minute here for Hera. As Viper comes in with his own crossbows, and oh, never mind, not a good minute. He loses three villagers at the front there. Viper finding picks on the gold and finding three, four, maybe villagers on the wood line. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, and this is going to force Hera in. This is going to force Hera into an engagement as he tries to get some value with his forward army. Eco Katie is now 9-3 to three in favor of Viper. Hera's going to have to micro for his life here. 36 villagers against 41. Viper, he already has wheelbarrow, has the fir first wood upgrade. Viper is just simply outplaying Hera in every sense. So far today. This this be looking like Hidden Cup 3 all over again. Oh boy. And I don't think Hera is playing too badly. I think Viper is just being Viper right now. It's kind of crazy. Like Hera is not playing at his peak. That's for sure. Villager's going down, but now the army's trapped. The army's trapped for Hera. Can he out micro? Or can he micro out of this situation, rather? It's probably the question, as Viper doesn't even want to engage against that hill, and Hera's just going to be sitting back here. Meanwhile, on this side, Viper losing a few camels. Maybe not the trades he wanted. 43 vils for Hera and 42 for Viper, so... Maybe the numbers have balanced out a little bit here as, as Hera stretches out. 
try and find value, and he's getting some good engagements on this side. The crossbows are still a concern at the back of his base. Eco upgrades for Hera, still a concern compared to Viper. Finding some decent trades, though. Oh, where were you? Where were you going, villager? What about gather rate? What about it? <laughs> what about it? Viper has better eco upgrades. Eric doesn't even have the wood upgrade. What about it? Viper actually added in a monk and lost it. Maybe he should have been collecting the relics. He already got one. I'm surprised he wasn't getting another. And startup guy, thank for the thirty dollars. So glad you weren't. You didn't include some message about my sister in your donation message, like you usually do. Thank you so much, my dude. Hope you're enjoying the show. Uh oh. Don't huh that. He usually, dude. Always. Donating and talking about my sister is weird. If I say this series is over, will I get banned? Uh, only... Okay. If Viper doesn't 5-0, I'm gonna ban you. So you can take that risk. What's that? What was his name? I don't want to scroll up. Who, who was it? Maliset. Yeah, where's Maliset when we need him? <laughs> Ted Bradfield. Okay, Ted Bradfield. Oh, man. Look at the army from Viper coming forward. Oh, boy. 58 villagers, though, for Hera. 50 for Viper. He is adding that third TC. Viper's eco upgrade. Still much better. Hera still without that first wood upgrade. But still, the army composition feels so much better for Viper. Camel, crossbow. This is knight crossbow for Hera. And Viper has the uh, the numerical advantage. And now Hera's crossbow is pretty out of position with ballistics coming in for Viper. Ballistics is going to be big here. Where is Hera's second gold? It's at the back. There's one at the front. There's one at the back. And there's another one at the front here. Yep. Not looking good for Hera. Nope. Yep. Nope. Not looking good at all, folks. Monk is going to convert a knight. Villager is being sniped down. Ballistics is in. And Hera is going to know Ballistics is in because all of his crossbows are dying. And he calls the GG. And Viper is up four to nothing over Hera in this best of nine. Four to nothing. Viper is playing so clean today. And, like, you think back to that game. <clears throat> what could Hera have done? Do you just not go for the archers? Like, you just don't go for the archers and you try and get up to Castle H? That maybe is a play? And you just hold yourself? Because Viper's heavy committing on his spearmen? I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Viper's base setup was just so good. You're never going to find any damage there. Is it an early call? No, he's dead there. Look at the military count. 26 to 11. Get eco upgrades? Yeah. The wood upgrade could have helped. Don't think it changes that that much, though. This sucks. Its final should be more equal. I mean, these are like two of the best players in the world. Viper still proving he is the best. But Harris like right up there in that conversation, so... It's just not his day, it feels like. Also, Chinese pretty strong on these, these settings. Hmm. Maybe Hera's got a reverse sweep in him. Maybe Viper's... Maybe the old man's gonna get tired here. Maybe the old man's gonna get tired. You never know. Could happen. A lot of skulls on Harris' side here. Step, migration, land madness. Yikes.
Win for Chinese. Viper. Whew. Beating Hera. When Hera has Franks and Land Madness. Not good for Hera. And now we go on to the next map, which is going to be... We don't know yet. Why no Black Forest? Because the closed map or whatever map chosen from that category, I think, is Yucatan. Is Britain's any good on any maps in the pool? No, he just drafted it first just because. <laughs> yeah, Britain's is good on Yucatan. Britain's is good on Arabia. Britain's is just a pretty good sieve. I don't think you picked them on Arena. No way. What's Hera's path back? A rocky one. A rocky path. It's only been two. It hasn't even been two and a half hours in this best of nine, and we could be at our final game already. Ooh. Pick them on arena, shoot arrows to the enemy from your base is a win okay really crushing that uh, that easy AI lately eh? you've really been working that easy AI I can tell as a tourney organizer how much do you fear the viper the only thing you fear with the viper as a tournament organizer is uh, him not wanting to play in your tournament Because if you don't have Viper in your tournament, you lose so many viewers. So many. When I'm right 5-0 and don't get banned, free gifted subs. Oh, come on. Hera's going on to Socotra? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's going to live or die here. He is going to live or die here on Socotra. Viper is the two-time, I believe, two-time master of Socotra, by the way. Spain, Germany, 1-0. Mm, Germans in shambles. Germans in absolute shambles. Guess you shouldn't have lost to Japan. Hera has Khmer, though. I don't think Khmer good like stuff as always. that good on the Katra. Yo, AW2JB, thank you for the $10, dude. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the follow. Smith, thank you for the nine months. We just had a kid. It's yours. I'm not taking care of it. Thanks. Germany going home just like Hera. <laughs> They are coming home! <laughs> the German version. Germany gets through anyway. Costa Rica won versus Japan. And then Japan... But if Spain ties Japan, then Germany, even if they lose against Spain and beat Costa Rica... What if Germany ties Costa Rica and Costa Rica goes through after getting, like, 6-0'd or whatever? <laughs> Okay, still waiting for the uh, the game here. Still going to be Socotra.
Do you think Viper versus Yo is the toughest match for Viper? Well, I think so far, yeah. Viper versus Leary was also pretty tough. I think I think a lot of this comes back to the hybrid map aspect of this tournament. How just how many different maps there are. Viper is by far the most well-rounded player we have. And it, it doesn't matter like what type of map you're talking about. Viper is in that top three conversation for every single map. Every single type of map. It's actually kind of insane. So in a map pool with 21 maps, Viper is going to be just the favorite every single time. Do you just call Viper fat? Yes. Yes. He's pro beast. Haha. <laughs> If this was an all Arabia tournament, it'd probably be better for Hera. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I like this from Hera. I like this. I'm bringing out my little, um, my Civ magnet from uh, Red Bull. I did get the Burmese Civ magnet. It's right beside me. You can't see it because my camera's not on. But I'm sticking it to my desk. And I'm channeling the power of the Burmese here for Sakatra. Because it's going to be Aztecs against Burmese. Hey guys, don't worry. Burmese can see all the relics here. <laughs> don't worry about it. They also get their wood upgrades for free. So uh, none of that stuff from last game with Hera not getting the wood upgrade. <clears throat> Aztecs should crush Burmese, right? Um, I think it's actually not a bad Civ matchup. For Burmese. I think there's worse ones for sure. Like Burmese infantry get the extra attack, which is really useful if your opponent's going to Eagles. Burmese have a really good monk tech tree as well. Um and then they can go into siege if the Aztecs are going into archer units. This feels like the Aztecs are slightly better though. But it's not the worst matchup. Placid, you know my take on Dire Straits. I really love Dire Straits, but they are not underrated. They are not underrated or overrated. You listen to their hits. Their hits are very good. You listen to their other songs. They are not very good. Dire Straits are simply rated. Okay, here we go. Game number five, and Hera really needs a win. And if he's going to do it, he's going to do it with Burmese here on Sakatra. Viper, well, let's take a look at his map. His golds are all to this side. His ostrich also to this side. He's got this giant hill in front of his base. And if Hera controls this, if Hera controls this, could be trouble for Viper. But Viper goes out immediately for the hunt over here as Hera starts pushing his in from this side. Viper disrupting the push a little bit with the eagle. Looking for opportunities to lame Hera. And he's being very annoying. He's being very, very annoying here. Very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. He's being so annoying. I've never been more annoyed. Secondhand annoyance. As Hera tries to go for this goat. No, and he'll get the goat. He'll get the goat. How much food does he have left on that elephant? Still plenty of food. So time to get this ostrich in. Viper's still not sending a villager forward to lame this. And Hera just gets the first ostrich in. So frustrating. To be playing up against something like this. Viper is housed though. Ah, he's getting punished. He's getting punished. He was forced to get Loom. He is housed. Viper gets punished for griefing. And spending so much attention over on this side. Trying to deny the push from Hera. So at the end of the day. A little bit of karma potentially. Now he did have Loom to get. So it's not the worst house in the world. 
That should be an admin win for Hera. <laughs> okay. And Hera's looking to go up pretty quickly. Is he going to go men at arms here? Men at arms on Sakatra feels kind of bleh. And he doesn't have any wood, so it's probably not a men at arms play. As he goes for the mill right there. Still only two on wood for Hera, by the way. Goes for Loom, and he will click up after this. Still only two on wood. Okay, sends the next four. Gets the wood upgrades for free, so doesn't need to spend wood on that or food on that once he gets to Feudal Age. And Viper continues to be annoying with this eagle. He's going to push this away. He's going to push it back to his own base. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Is Hera going to push Viper's ostrich? No, he's got a scout Viper, I think. And Viper's on the way to Feudal Age. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just casually. What's up, dude? Not much. Okay, so Viper only pushes the ostrich far enough back to be shot by his villagers. Hera, Hera is well aware of those villagers out there, and Hera is going to gold now. Hera's going to have some wood issues, though, it looks like. Viper's already dropping the barracks. Hera's not dropping the barracks yet. And he still needs 100 wood for the mining camp, so... Build is not the cleanest thing we've ever seen, and the timing's gonna be really off here for the Canadian. 25 seconds left until Feudal Age. There's the barracks right there. He won't have that in time, and... Even if he did, he wouldn't have the wood to make an archer range, or a stable, or whatever he wants to go into. We have a speed comparison. Yep, 1.20. 1.1 for Viper. Now the speed increases. So we still have 1.1 for the Eagle, and we have 1.55 as Viper comes forward with the tower. Viper is coming forward with the tower. We got men-at-arms here as well to support this. Hera, as soon as he sees that tower, needs to abandon with these villagers, which he's doing. Viper actually deleted that tower. Now he's going to take control of this gold. Hera can move out to this gold if he wants to. Doesn't need to hard commit here, but he is going for a defensive tower of his own. Viper doesn't have the wood upgrade, and here it does. Pog! Trap him in, trap him in. Gate right here, trap him in, trap him in. Ooh. Hera had potential to trap all those men-at-arms and the eagles in there. Doesn't go for it, though. And Hera's tower is up, so he's going to start contesting this area. Pushing the villagers away a little bit. He can go out to gold over here, and he's got the archer range, and he's already producing archers. Viper just now going out to this mill. Hera is going to spot these villagers. And Viper's food eco, well... Merp. <laughs> he's got a few on the hunt, which is fine, I suppose. And he's got a, a villager queued, so he should be good to keep his TC production running. But he's going to need to abandon this forward position, and Hera will defend against this tower for the time being. Hera's going to come out here and, sh and find these food villagers. And that's the majority of Viper's food income. It's got, like, a couple villagers on... Berries. Okay, sent the ones back from the, the forward position, so he should be fine to keep up TC production. But he's still going to be under pressure over on this side with Hera's archers and Hera's micro, which should be fairly decent. Yeah, hasn't taken a hit yet. Really nice stuff from Hera so far. And snipes the eagle, too. Great stuff. Fantastic stuff from Hera. It's a good start for him, honestly. Viper invested the stone, the idle time, into basically nothing over here. I guess he forced Hera into investing into a tower and garrisoning the villagers, but momentum is kind of on Hera's side right now. Thank you, Gunner. Thank you for the 12 months. Real Hugo, thank you for the 5. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Viper idle TC time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bro, we were talking about his food income struggling. Look at the idle TC time. Almost two minutes. That's a good spot there, guys. And we've got 28 villagers from Hera. Four villagers behind is Viper. Four villagers behind. Now, 
Aztecs can snowball pretty hard, provided they get to Castle Age at a reasonable time on this map. If they are stuck behind in Feudal Age, they're going to struggle. They need to get to Castle Age. They need to get Monks. They need to get Siege. Maybe an Eagle All-In, something like that. Eagle All-In, probably not going to work against Burmese. But a Monk's Siege push could. However, Viper's economy right now, not really looking conducive to something like that. As Hera just shifts back over to this gold. That is now clear because the tower is gone on this side. Army coming in from Viper. Hera is waiting for Fletching. Now he's on the defensive mode. Viper's still with the men at arms too. To help punch through these walls. But now that Hera has Fletching, he should be able to engage against this. Viper just now getting that wood upgrade. Like I said, the food and come for him was looking a little bit spicy early on. And Hera manages to push this all away. Hera's farm eco looking fantastic. 14 farms. We look at Viper's farm eco, only five. Still taking food over on those berries and still has archers over here, but it's hard for him to press into that gold with the tower still around. As Hera now makes his way over on this side and Viper looked like he was trying to go for the big walls, but oh boy. There's not going to be any time to get these down as Harris shows up with his military. Viper might be able to save this villager with the correct angle. No, she goes down. And now he's in full defensive mode. He was pushing Hera just a second ago, but Hera is the one clapping back. And Hera's going to kill two villagers there. Good walls from Viper. Hera blocking that house, though. Hera also blocking this house. And this might be this might just be game over here for Viper. That is four villager kills for Hera. He's going to get another one here. And just focus on the villagers at this point. I mean, Viper's trying to wall him in. Hera will lose the military, but now it feels like Hera's in a position where he can just wall himself and create some archers behind. Six villager kills, plus all the idle TC time before, results in Hera having an 11 villager lead over Viper. It is now very possible... Very probable for Harry to win this game from this position. Viper still has decent res. He probably wants to go for a market, maybe try and buy himself up. He knows he needs to do damage. And he does have the military advantage. As Harry now leaves with these archers to try and buy himself some time to get these walls down. Harry would also benefit from a market, I think. The ability to buy stone would be huge here. Because he's not going to be able to mine this. The risk for Hera is that Viper gets some serious damage, and this villager needs to leave. <laughs> this vill needs to go. <laughs> but look at this from Hera. Trying to be sneaky. Viper tracking that with the skirms. Great play there from Viper. And Hera's up to the Castle Age. Hera is up to Castle Age. Completely abandons that wood line. Abandons the farms. He can afford to do so. I mean, look at the villager lead right now. Ten villagers ahead of Viper. And it just feels like uh, maybe some knights, siege workshop. You can push this back. Get the hill position over Viper. Once you have that hill position, oof. Really tough for the snake, right? What a terrible lumber camp. I don't. I think it's got a good personality. I don't think it's that bad. It's actually better than the lumber camp right up here for the time being. Until these trees are chopped. And then it's worse. Once those trees are chopped, then it's pretty bad. Viper just working away on that house. He's finally up. And he's not hes not up at a terrible time, to be fair. It's up like a minute and a bit later than Hera. Which is not too bad as he goes for a second barracks. Hera will see this second barracks. It's going to be very annoying with this archer, actually. Just stand grounding here, denying the barracks for <laughs> as long as he can. And the second barracks will tell him it's an eagle play from Viper. Either eagles or pikes. And it'll be pikes. Food eco for Viper still looking rough. Six on food right now. Two food in the bank. No villagers queued either. So we have one archer from Harrow trying to clear up this army. <laughs> it's kind of stuck. <laughs> but he's trying to make his way out of here. It's close. 
Knights making their way over. Just delete all of this. Delete the walls here if you're Hera. Delete the house. Delete everything. And you can delete the army with the knights. Oh boy. How is Viper ever going to maintain eagle production with this food eco? He can buy food, I suppose, as he adds more farms. I mean, eagles are really gold intensive, but you still do need food to keep them rolling. And he goes for a monastery, so he's going to get some monks on the field to counter the knights. Hera, already with the siege workshop, already with a monastery of his own, can grab the relics for free, basically. There's two relics over on this side that Viper might be able to grab. And Viper goes for double monastery production. Also, hole into the wall. If you grab that re relic really quickly. His food eco can't even support Vils? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an all-in situation here from Viper. Yeah. They've got everything on gold. It's all in on gold. A couple scorpions behind this mangonel might actually be really nice for Hera. Initial mangonel is good to get damage to the... Um, the buildings, but a couple scorpions behind might be really good. But look at this. He's just flooding in everything. Right under the TC. Doesn't care. Needs to save the scout so it can potentially snipe the monks. We see the eagles coming out here to try and snipe those uh those mangonels, but that's a good shot with the mangonel immediately from Hera. Kill oh God. <laughs> okay, that not the greatest follow-up. For sure, but Viper doesn't get a conversion! He loses the monk without getting a conversion. That was like max conversion timing. Knight's still just kind of running under the TC. Food Eco is... I mean, just look at his res right now. Hera can kind of hang out under this TC forever, it feels like. And Hera's just sending more knights forward. As he breaks through the gates here, Viper deleting. Trying to get some good conversions there. Monk does get that final conversion. Hera may be tossing away a bit of military, but it's 48 villagers against 34 here from Viper. As Hera snags the first relic and he'll go for his second relic too, and he grabs another TC. Viper now going into Sanctity and Fervor. We're back. Don't worry about it. We're back. I watched that go into the red, and I'm like, no, not again, not again, not again, but we're back. We're back. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if the stream drops for a few seconds, sorry, I can't do anything about that. It's just my ISP dropping me for minor little ones. If you've been here a while, you know that. I apologize. But just refresh if that happens. Anyway. Hera going for atonement, so he can convert the monks from Viper. Viper also going to atonement. Gonna have a clown fiesta here. Redemption is needed as well from Viper, though. Because the Mangonel can do some serious damage. And Hera has gone into Light Cav. Hera has gone into Light Cav, which means he can two-shot these monks. The Light Cav are coming in. Bop! Oh, three-shot against Aztec monks, I guess. Viper is healing up that damage. Will the, li the Light Cav don't even kill the monks! They don't even kill the monks! Viper surviving! And he has two Light Cav of his own to snipe the monks from Hera now. But more Light Cav are coming in. More Light Cav are coming in. Still a couple monks to convert there. Viper is healing. Viper loses one... Two. Hera looking for that third. Meanwhile on this side. Hera losing a couple villagers. Viper's gonna lose another monk there. These are expensive. Expensive losses for Viper as he gets another light cab. He's converted four light cab. Aztec extra HP on the monks coming in clutch here. Great trap there from Hera with the villager. He does lose that, but wiping up all these light cab is incredibly valuable. Especially if you have monks of your own on the field. Eagles just aren't the same as light cab when you're talking about sniping monks. Especially Eagle Scouts as Hera goes for a third TC. Now this villager advantage is only going to climb. 19 villagers ahead for Hera. Monks now coming in from Viper. Attempting to convert the monks from Hera. And he gets one. But that's going to be converted back. Never mind. Viper just deletes. 
And Hera tries to convert the monk over here. Doesn't get it. Maybe a frustrating series of events here from Hera. As he is losing the conversion wars. He's losing the monk engagements. Viper now trying to convert the knights. Hera, once he gets his TC up, can garrison it. Maybe snipe the monks. Lots of monks available for Viper, though. Lots of monks here for Viper. Eight monks for Viper. Four in the queue. Does not have redemption, so Hera could technically pop out here. Try and get damage, but remember, these have a lot of HP. Hera's trying to convert that. Hera also trying to build up Light Cav. He did get one monk. And can he save these ones? Can he hop inside the TC? He does! He converts one and saves the rest. Two relics for Hera, one relic for Viper. Redemption is on the way. Redemption is on the way. This game is not over. Even with the eco um, imbalance here. Viper can come back, but it looks like Hera is building up towards a castle. <laughs> Hera is building towards a castle. Hera can also get back here with the light cab and cause all sorts of distractions for Viper. You can see him chasing these light cab back into his economy. Night server on this side too. Castle is in the middle for Hera, and that will control the stones, it'll control the golds, it'll control this, this choke point as well. And there's a lot of villagers building that. The Mangonel is out, Redemption is in though. Hera needs to take a shot and delete. That's exactly what he does. Light Cav coming in. Monk's healing out the damage from those, though. Two Light Cav get converted, but the castle will be up. Right? Surely. Yeah, the castle's going up. And the knights are killing in the back. This is the victory that Hera needs. And we're gonna get it here. Monk's still not dying, but the eco for Hera is looking really good. He's got 1,300 wood in the bank. Maybe he needs to... Do something with that. Classic Viper move here, escaping with the Relic. <laughs> Quick, save it. <laughs> and Viper is all in on stone himself. He's thinking about a castle. He's thinking about Imperial Age. He's thinking about trebbing down this castle from Hera. He's still in a position where Viper, if he gets a castle and Imperial Age way faster, maybe he can push this back. Maybe he can snowball with good enough micro. He's going to have to go to the circus, though. And oh no, Hera. Oh no, don't lose your monks. Hera also won on gold only. Where's his gold access? He's making a TC over on this gold. He's going for more light cav. He's going for more light cav. This is legitimately the worst moment for my internet to start crapping out, but it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I apologize. Good conversion so far for Viper on the monks. Harris just not winning any of these monk conversions. Okay, got one there. He got one there, but Viper is coming forward with the castle. Hera has light cab, but it's just simply not enough light cab, and Viper is denying that gold with the castle. Viper is still in this. Hera, though, <coughs> almost, oh, excuse me, <coughs> almost has enough for a castle of his own. If you put the castle here, you can kill the TC, maybe. That's going up to Imperial Age. Viper is on the way up. Hera is not close. Hera is not close. Hera goes for the castle forward. Oh my god! He can also deny the relics. He's sending more villagers. I don't know how he squeezed that one in there. He's found a spot. <laughs> He's found a spot. If Viper controls this position with Trebs, with Monks, Hera will lose everything over here. He'll lose everything on this side. There is a chance, though, for Hera. If he get Okay. The play here for Hera is get this castle up and go Petards. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Target this TC. He's not going to do it, but, you know, it is what it is. Herbal Medicine coming in for Viper. Get him extra HP on the monks. And he takes out that one ram, but the monks are still up there. However, Hera is building up Light Cav, and these monks are 
awfully exposed over here as Redemption comes in now for Hera. Wants to be able to convert the siege. If Hera gets like 12 Light Cav, he can come in here and just nuke all of this. And once those monks are down, well, good luck to Viper. On the other side, Hera's still pushing in with the monks. Still attacking this TC. Light Cav on the gold. And yeah, I think Hera's just going to carry this home with 110 bills. It's just too much economy to overcome. It's a good position here for Viper on this side, and he can tread this area from this castle, but he's going to have no bills left. He has literally no economy. It's a massacre over on this side. It's an absolute massacre. He's got relics, sure, and he's shifting all of his villagers over onto this wood line. As he completely abandons his base. And Hera is taking over Viper's economy. <laughs> Viper is everything. Everything over here. 23 villagers. We don't know where the rest of them are. But he's pushing. He's pushing from this side. Hera ratting it out along the edge. Total base trade situation. As Viper continues to get conversions. He will now start taking out the TCs from Hera. Hera with 118 villagers. Somehow... We don't know where they are. Let's zoom out here. They're all in this side. Hera has 14 light cap. It's going to be a situation soon where he's just going to simply surround this castle. And once he takes out, you know, five or six of these monks, suddenly Viper doesn't have much of an army at all to contest with. I would love to see the plus two armor for these light cap to run underneath this. So we see more villagers going down from Viper. 39 villagers only. Hera's still converting all his stuff. Hera even stealing his farms now. Hera going heavier and heavier into light cap. 16 light cap now for Hera. 120 villagers against 39. <laughs> and the castle is being taken out over here. But it, only, it just feels like a matter of time before Hera has enough light cap to dive this. Viper goes for another TC. He knows he's going to lose this one. Also, relics have not been ejected yet. And the light cav are coming. The light cav are coming. The monk, sir, the monk micro is going to need to be great. The gate is going to need to go down. Oh, the gate goes down just on time. But there is a hole. And the light cav make their way through here. Viper's targeting so many for conversions. And lots of light cav switch sides. But there's enough left over to get some value. And to kill enough monks, maybe. Castle will go down. From Hera. Hera's still at 121 villagers. Viper somehow surviving on this side. <laughs> Viper somehow surviving. <laughs> Hera's making the full circle. <laughs> Over to this side. What an economy for the snake. 31 villagers only and he goes for the gates around his trebs. Hera still can't kill those trebs. Still struggling to kill these trebs. I mean... You could just delete your barracks and your your houses and come in here with light cab, but who knows? Castle going down. Hera's Omega House, and he's about to be Giga Housed. Hera is about to be Giga Housed. He will take out the relics from Viper, though. That's a big part of Viper's economy. Oh my god. Like, it's just a situation where at some point Hera's gonna dive, right? Viper is not really expanding his eco behind this. Hera going for another TC over here. He's going for more farms. He's got 19 light cav. You could just dive on the villagers, or you could dive on this stuff. But dive he shall, and it's gonna be soon. Also, take please take out this monastery, please. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty please. Viper trying to convert the light cav. Mm, doesn't want the monks to get too far out of position. And he's expanding a little bit with his trebuchet here, but Hera can delete this barracks. Hera can delete the barracks, and Viper is holding open the gate. He's holding open the gate with the treb! <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to afford more of those. <laughs> Viper's going to have to buy wood for more trebs. Pikeman on the way. Hera's got 2,100 wood in the bank. As Viper now garrisons in that castle. Tries to go for a house, but it's over. 
It is over now. You simply cannot overcome this econ economic difference. Hera making the full loop, and he soon he's gonna have Eco to the north of Viper. Viper, you've got four monks now. It's time to it's time to stop. It's time to call it. It's time to call it. It's all ogre now, that's right. This is my swamp, says Sarah. <laughs> what a ridiculous game, yeah. Viper, you got 30 bills, bruh. Are you here? Viper, are you here? Hello? Viper? Villager's coming forward. He's buying food. He's still pushing. Hera is not Imperial Age yet. Viper is pushing again, and Viper has Pikemen now. Viper has Pikemen. And, well, he's attacking another TC. Keeps pushing forward. Relics have been ejected. Hera can grab those now. And there's another relic up here that Hera can grab, and Hera continues to expand his eco. Hera has 3,400 wood and 40, 41 light cav. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh no, Viper converted like 5% of Hera's e uh, army. Oh no. Pikemen are attacking the farm! No! The pikemen are attacking the farm! Not like it would make a difference as Hera completely cleans this up. Viper says hashtag hashtag. Pound pound. Probably meant GG. I don't know how he got there instead of GG. Maybe it's just filtered out by the, uh, <laughs> the DE. <laughs> Is that the DE filter? <laughs> <laughs> what a game here. What a game for Hera to come back. Absolute clown fiesta from Viper. And he did it with Burmese too. And he did it in classic Hera style, just ratting his way around. Viper completely switched sides here for the base trade. We got a victory for Hera. And we're going to at least one more game. At least one more. Possibly two. Potentially three. Yeah, that's a little bit of an eco difference. Gold difference was big. And Viper was really playing on that, that he's denying gold from Hera. But the food in the wood is just crazy. Also, relic gold differentiator. Massive. Luckily, Dave forgot he was going to ban the guy without a fight. Ah, Ted Bradfield. Where are you at? Ted? Where's Ted? Ominous is ratting him at- do, Guys, do I ban Ominous or do I ban Ted? We don't like rats here. Both? He's a narc. <laughs> we don't like snitches, dude. We don't like snitches, Ominous. He's- look, Ominous is laying awfully low right now. Awfully low. I haven't seen a single message from him after that. <laughs> Ban Malisette? <laughs> no, we'll give Ted... Listen. We'll give Ted another chance. We'll give Ted one more game. And we'll give Ominous... Well... I just... The only reason I don't want to ban Ominous is because I'll have to remod him again. And that's just a lot of work. His name is very long. Meister, thank you for the two months, dude. Mod Slang Gang, thank you for the 22. Thank you for the follows, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. And uh, we're going to go into another game here as we mark the loss for Aztecs. And the win for Burmese of all civs. All right, so we got a couple minutes till the next game. 
You should ban like everyone? Hmm, maybe I should. Be a lot of work though. Stevio, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Can I have a one minute ban? No, that's too much work. I gotta ban and then unban. Too much. Remember when you banned everyone that sub? That would be so much work now. Yeah, that's why I stopped, basically. Okay, so Yucatan is coming up, and Hera has a really good sieve for Yucatan, honestly. There's a chance here for Hera. It's a small one, but there's a chance. Ted Bradfield with the 10 gifted. You just bought yourself another game, buster. <laughs> you just bought yourself another game, buster. <laughs> He's bribing me. <laughs> Do you like Mamma Mia? I heard you fell asleep during a show. Yeah, I fell asleep during the musical. Yeah, like the live musical. I did fall asleep. I don't mind ABBA, though. I do like me some ABBA. I like Tupac, too, but I feel like... We gotta take a chance on Hera. Big Ikea guy. Jeez. Stevio! Thank you for the 10 gifted, dude! Oh my god, you guys have been so generous today. It's crazy. I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a really good time. I, I've forgotten for the last three hours that Canada lost and we're kicked out, basically. But... Uh, <laughs> games have been funny. Jeez. Sag. Shoot Chastics! Thank you for the 10! Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, man. Ted with the 10, Shuchasix with the 10, Steve with the 10. Big. All right, so we got three seconds left. Three seconds left, and we're going to go Britons versus Tatars on Yucatan, and I think Britons are the better Civ here. I do. I think they're better. I think they have a... Um... Better early imp death ball than the Tatars. And especially on a closed map like this, going into Cav Archers or something like that, not as good as going into Crossbows, Arbalest, etc. You already know! Thank you for the 10 gifted as well, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you, dude. Thank you so, so much, man. That's very generous. Lots of 10 gifters. So, Tatars, they have free thumb run, right? We talk about that all the time. They go into Cav Archers a lot because Thumb Ring is really good for Cav Archers. When you're pushing through choke points against Britons, though, against the better range from the crossbows can be really tough. And it's easy to wall in this map. Now, Tatars also get more um, food from their Hurtables. So that's going to really benefit Viper here. And you get two Hurtables every time you make a TC. So if he wants to go into the boom, he could have a decent eco. However, Britain's boom is not bad with the TCs being cheaper. Meaning you can get onto them sooner. And that could be the key here for Hera. Could be the key. Now we look at Hera's... Games away from Ted. Ted. <laughs> okay. Ted, you just lost a game, but... No, that's $10, dude. Ten gift... Ted gifted 10 subs. That's not enough, Steve. But I guess you did... I guess you did give 10 subs yourself. Alright, Ted, you got only one... You got this game, Ted. That's it. You got this game. Anyway, going to get away from talking about Ted, Mr. Bradfield. His hair goes for the early barracks, and I think this is a Drush FC play. We also have an early barracks from Viper. So maybe he wants to come forward and just kill the deer. If you deny all this, if you have a Drush forward and you kill all these deer and deny all that food, it could be really good, honestly. Could be really good. Anyway, rambling is over. I like Hera's Civ better than Vipers. I do. Okay, Maldhar. You're pushing your luck, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Good 
getting a little bit cocky there, Viper. <laughs> getting just a little bit cocky. We're going to replay that one for the fans. We're going to replay that one from the fans. Did he not have enough wood? Okay, we're going to go back and we'll, we'll, we'll watch this in slow motion. So, he has enough wood here for a house. He doesn't want to cancel the straggler tree. He's forgetting he's bringing in the boar. So, he goes for a palisade wall instead. And he dies. Can't cancel out that boar in time. Frustrating start for Viper. We're going to speed up to catch up to the game here. As Hera now heading out with his militia, Viper's already down one villager. Hera's going to get these walls down perfectly in time. Excellent timing here for Hera. And I think Viper just opened up a window potentially um, for Hera to come back in this series with that last game and maybe some, you know, a little bit of lack of, lack of execution here in this one. However, oh! Hera could have saved that villager and Hera loses one right away. Hera is over here on the deer and he's going to kill them with the militia. This is what the drush is for. It's not to kill villagers. That's a bonus. If you get it, it's to kill the deer. Viper's already killed a villager. Hera is going to be chasing these deer all over the place, trying to deny all that food access for Viper. And Viper's villager he killed is negated by the villager he lost to the boar. Viper now has Loom. Hera needs to retreat. Viper should probably shoot this deer if he can. I don't think he can. And Hera's going to be hunting the rest of these. Meanwhile, Viper will make his way to the wood line from Hera. As Hera gets Loom right now, Viper only with two militia. And does he know where the deer are? He has no idea where the deer are from Hera. He's looking for them. Still traveling Europe. Seen you and the boys walking around in Heidelberg. It was pissing down rain. So I didn't say hello. Really enjoyed Red Bull. <laughs> oh damn, another. dude. I uh I hope you're enjoying Europe. That's a long that's a long trip. It's been a, it's been a month since we were there. And Viper's gonna find the deer. Harris should Harris should shoot these all now, right now. Why is he on the why is he on the berries? Why on earth are you on the berries? Why are you on the berries here, Hera? Why on earth? Why are you on the berries? Shoot the deer. He's shooting that one. He's going to shoot this one. He's going to shoot this one. Okay, whatever. Anyway, he's busy. He's very busy. He's gone and found his way into Viper's woodline. Viper can quick wall this potentially. Hera's going to need to block with one militia and hit with the others. And you can tell he's trying to get close. But Viper escapes with that villager. Messy start for both. Messy stuff for both players. Dead villager here for Hera. Dead villager to the boar from Viper. Dead deer on both sides. And Hera only gaining access to two of his deer. I think Viper gained access to like three of his. How did that villa escape the body block? Well, he just, you know. He just lubed himself up. He, 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 is this another pause from Viper? Oh my god, dude. If I'm Hera, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with all these pauses. I think this is like the fourth pause Viper's had. Yes. It says sex, sorry, go. I don't know what's going on. Hera has no dead vil. Yes, he does. You see that death right there? Her body is still here. Her body is still here. Now, he didn't kill a villager from Viper. That's because the boar did it for him. And Hera is now transitioning into Men at Arms. So he's going to use this Drush. He's going to get the Men at Arms upgrade. And he knows Viper's probably going to go pretty greedy here. Up to the Castle Age. So he might be able to punish this with the Men at Arms. He can kill this scout too. Viper shouldn't try and body block that villager. And he loses one of the militia. Men at Arms are looking. Viper sees the upgrade is in. Stable is him here for him, but one scout is not going to be enough to clear this up. And what is Hera doing? What on earth? Heading right into the TC. I still don't under... Like, the weirdest decision this game is Hera taking the berries instead of the deer over on this side. I don't understand that. It's FC for Viper, 100%, yeah. Viper's still with plenty of geese left over. 15 villagers on these geese. 
and Hera will complete the full wall. Okay. So Hera should be up shortly, but he's really delayed himself. He's gone for archers now, behind the men-at-arms. Viper will likely just go for TCs in defense uh, to respond to this. Hera might be able to get himself a really good position around Viper's map, but I think Viper can just defend this with town centers, second stable. He should be fine. Tuning in, Viper leading comfortably. Yeah, he was up 4 nothing at one point. Okay, this stable will die. It's good from Hera. Really, really nice from Hera. Good pressure, but he's still delaying himself from Castle Age a lot. And he only has six farms and these villagers on berries to help him get up there. He does have four villagers queued though, so you have to keep that in mind. Lots of food in the queue. And he is cutting off the gold from Viper. Viper will go for a TC where? Ooh. Where do you go for that TC? There's hills over here. That makes it tough. You don't want to go back here. Maybe you can place it right here, potentially, to protect the gold. Can't justify coming over here. I think you place it here. Okay, he, he puts it on the berries. And it is a step lancer. Yet again for Viper. One knight in the queue, one step lancer in the queue. His hair comes through and he's just gonna... Oh, he's just gonna push through. He's just gonna push through. He's taking two geese. Three geese. But he's losing the archers. And this is definitely not worth for Hera. His vision was having, like, losing a few units and having, like, four archers alive to harass this area. Instead, he loses all of his army for free and suddenly Viper is not under pressure at all anymore. Now, Hera is still fully walled and Hera is about to click up to the Castle Age, but he's going to be way further behind. Now, Viper is the one with the map control right now. Well, not really map control. I guess he's only got one Knight and Step Lancer. That was not a good dive from Hera. He could have denied this TC coming up here for a very long time. Could have made Viper invest into more military units. Could have still had the archers alive. Could have looped around here to harass the wood line. Could have done a lot of things. But instead he loses most of his army to TC fire. Nice micro from Viper. One range unit. Big. Run away. Big. Hit and run with the step lancers. Pog. Timing has to be perfect to do this, by the way. Or you get poked. I don't get the third TC. I think Viper even wants a fourth TC. I think he'll put the, the fourth TC somewhere around here. Okay, Knight is working away on this wall. The archer should be enough to chase that Knight away. And Hera... Does Hera go 3 TC and continue archer production, or does he buy 100 stone for the 4th town center? His food eco is looking pretty good, and he can produce. He can definitely catch up on Vils. He's actually ahead on Vils right now, surprisingly. Viper goes for heavy plow. The greed, dude. The greed is kicking in for Viper. Hera didn't get Horse Collar. Yeah, he was going Men-at-Arms Archers. Horse Collar would have delayed him up to Castle Age. I think he just wants to get Castle as fast as possible. There's the second TC. There's the third TC on the stone. So he'll probably mine the stone. And he'll go heavier into crossbow production here as he gets crossbow bodkin right away. Step Lancer's coming forward. Trying to clear up these numbers. Viper knows crossbow is coming in. And I wonder what he does to help against that. Because right now he only has two monks, two Step Lancers, and a knight. As he's grabbing the relics. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? It's Viper. Silk Armor CA. Like I said, CA in a closed map like this against crossbows, not it, in my opinion. Or against uh, Arbalest later on in choke points. It's not a good unit.
Okay, Harris kind of controlling as long as he doesn't lose his reinforcements. Viper going for more step lancers here. Hera going for heavy plow himself. And Viper has taken the villager lead. Eco upgrades better for Hera though. And Hera continues to push in. He does have these two spearmen, which is really going to help against the step lancers, honestly. And the step lancers only have plus one armor. Viper is now looking for reinforcements, and he's found one of them. Don't think he can pick this off though. It's not a fight that he wants to take yet. Needs a couple more step lancers to do that. And he's waiting here with the relic. He's trying to be sneaky with the relic. He's going to sneak it all the way back around that side. Is the comp against Britain Skirmisher Keshik here? I don't know what the comp against Britain's is, honestly. I think Britain's just have a better composition if we're going late game. And like, close map like this. I really don't know. If Spud is saying this is the wrong time for Step Lancers, then it's probably not a great time for Step Lancers. Because Spud has outrageous levels of Copium when it comes to this, this unit. Viper's trying to pick off some crossbows. Hera going for some house walls over here. He's not going to get him down in time though. Might lose some more villagers, but it looks like Viper's kind of trapped on this side. Nice little snipe there from Viper. Take advantage of that extra range, and Hera's going to try and come out here and block these units in. It's a great market. It's a great market, and you can see Hera converting that knight first. He's going to use that against the Step Lancers. He will lose some villagers here, will lose some more crossbows, but the army for Viper is completely dead. Only two monks left on the field once those Step Lancers are, are gone, and he's forced into a siege workshop. And he's just... Sitting back in his base. 61 villagers against 56 from Hera. Great market trap there from Hera. Fantastic stuff. And I and I have to think that Hera's in the lead now. Fourth TC from Hera. Full map control. 15 crossbows. Mangano coming out from Viper. Maybe he can go for a castle to secure this area. But Hera's also on stone. And if he holds the middle of the map and gets a forward castle... But have a really good power spike in Imperial Age. Or even go for a castle at the back of his base. And then build into another one in the middle. Hera will see this Mangonel coming in from a ways away. You can see it under the TC. Hera, don't get shot by this, Hera. Okay. I feel like Viper could have walled from the barracks to that woodline. Yeah, I don't know how long that wall stays up, though. Probably could have. Second relic on the way for Hera. And he sees this. He sees the monk. He sees the monk. He sees the monk. He sees the monk. And he keeps his monk nearby. So he's going to try and kill it with the knight. If the knight doesn't gets converted, then he converts the knight back. Very nice. And the relic is now his. Viper goes for a castle up on this hill. It's a good defensive castle, but it's pretty far back. And he's just kind of trapping himself into this corner. Harris should probably keep like one crossbow over here just to keep him aware of whether Viper expands this way. Still controlling the middle of the map. Going for a castle of his own shortly. And the food eco for Hera is looking pretty good. 35 farms. 35 farms and a castle forward. Oh boy. Look at the farm count for Viper. 26 farms. He adds some more. Knows he needs to get up to uh, Imperial Age shortly. Starts adding Keshix right now. That's going to delay his imp a little bit. Hera. Lots of gold in the bank. And with this many farms, if he idles his TCs for a minute, he can go up. What does Viper go into from here? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like this is a rough Civ matchup for Tatars. Especially when you have no mass whatsoever. And the Britain's player already has 19 crossbows to upgrade once they're in it. Viper goes into hoping for a big Mangonel shot. That's what Viper goes into. <laughs> because that one's dead. <clears throat> okay, Hera needs to get up. And he's canceling bills. He's going to idle his TCs. And Viper is going Keshix. And Viper's trying to sneak out here. Viper's trying to sneak out with his Keshix to do damage, but we got four TCs defending Harazuko. Easy wall behind this stuff. 
Viper now sneaking out for some farms on this side. That's actually nice for him to expand his map control a little bit because he can't really come out to the middle. And it's a risk coming out this way too. Okay, Hera, do you notice the Keshik's in time? He doesn't. He doesn't see him, but he does have the castle here. To lose the villagers, and he's already making transition maybe into pikemen. That's why he's building the barracks. And he doesn't lose the villagers. Wow. Villagers saved. <gasps> yeah, Hera's never going to lose those crossbows there, probably. Pyrrhal Age is two minutes away, and I just don't see how Viper wins this game. I, I think we're going to... I think we're going to game number seven. Because I don't see it. Maybe you guys see it. Maybe Viper sees it somehow. But I don't know how Hera loses from this position with Britons. I can see it. Well, you are strong, Axelus. You did tell us that's that earlier. So maybe you're stronger than us. Another castle from Hera. Up on this hill. Oh, that's just so brutal, isn't it? Like, you could have put it here, but up on this hill completely cuts Viper off from this side. That's such a dominant position over here. And now the only area that Viper can expand to for free is on this side, which is just not... Probably just not good. It's way too close to Hera's base. Which is a really good castle position from Hera. I know a lot of people would have wanted to see it a little bit more forward to put the pressure right on Viper, but I think this is a just fantastic spot. Okay, Keshik's pushing in from this side. Hera does have pikemen to counter this, but I mean, they will find some damage, and they're in on this side too, so Viper kind of distracting Hera a little bit. Hera's an imp already, though. Is going for a treb. We'll go for Bodkin, hopefully. We'll not get nuked by this mango, hopefully. And yeah, there's no chance, right? Ooh, ooh. There was a chance. He needed a second shot, though. As Viper now goes for a castle over here. And Hera hasn't seen this yet. He might send a couple units over here, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Viper with skirmishers to push this back. Arbalist is in. Bracer is still not in, by the way. Bracer is still not in for Hera. Maybe he thinks he got it. And he's losing Arbalist numbers. He is losing Arbalist numbers here. And the Treb is going to be awfully exposed. This is not a good engagement for Hera. He can convert the Keshik, but Viper is taking value that he shouldn't be taking. Still, Viper calls it GG. Even with that, even with Arbalist kills for free... Even with a treb potentially exposed. Hera's in too good of a position. Viper's not up and he calls GG. Hera taking his second game. Four wins in a row for Viper. Two wins in a row now for Hera. Military advantage. Well, KD in favor of Viper, but look at the eco. And the numbers here. 49 army high for Hera. Viper just kind of sitting back way too much with Tatar's. Feels like you need to be the one pressuring, taking out this army in the middle. If you get a good map position, maybe you can pressure the Britons. They're pressuring you, though? Ooh. Ooh. Ted Band? No, I said he got this game. Actually, hmm. Ted? Is Ted here? Is Ted Dedge? Is he Tedge? <laughs> Tedge. <laughs> Who snitched? Oh, that is a good question. Who snitched? Who brought that up? Who brought that up? He could be any one of us. <laughs> I forgive you? No, I forgive you. See you later, Ted.
All right. Who wants Ted back? Does anyone want Ted back? Do we give Ted one more game? I feel like we give him one more game, right? Do we give him one more game? Yes? I kind of want Ted back. I kind of want Ted back. Ted, don't leave. All right, Ted's back for one more game. <clears throat> I could never leave. All right. Sheesh. Steve, thank you for the 10 gifted. Is Steve going to try and get me to ban Ted again? Begun the sub wars have. What happens to Ted if it's a reverse sweep? Oh, Ted's... Oh, man. I think if it's a reverse sweep, I get Ted banned on every single Age of Empires 2 stream. <laughs> I think I use my connections to get him banned. Every single AV2 stream. Ted's gonna be super Ted. Do we give Ted a another game for a poll? Everyone says yes. <laughs> Yo, Grovitix, thank you for the prime. Everyone's saying yes. Ted, how did you make so many friends, bro? How do you have so many friends here? 73%. Says give him another game. We can use Ted as a bait. To smoke out the rats as well. <laughs> we can we can use them as a bait to smoke out the narcs in the chat. <laughs> Keep Teddy keeps jinxing Viper? Oh true. Kind of is. Okay, next game is going to be Arena. Ooh, and ooh, I don't know, guys. Next game's Arena, and Hera has Turks and Bohemians. What does Viper go for here? Bengalis? Bengalis would be kind of pog, except against Turks. <laughs> They'd be kind of pog against Bohemians, though. Feels like, right? Maybe? <laughs> Byzantines? He needs he needs a Scandinavia sieve though. That's why I didn't say Byzantines. He needs a Scandi sieve. Is that gonna be Huns? Huns? Oof. I don't know. Feels like it's Bohemians for Hera, right? Or it should be should be Turks. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Hera drafted Arena vs. Viper. No, Viper picked the closed map category and Hera had to pick one of those. So he picked Arena. Where Gajara is going to be played? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. Could it be Arabia? Ooh. Stelly, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you. All right, we got a couple minutes until the game starts. Thank you for being here, everyone. Good to see everyone here. Looks so like we, we've almost got 20,000 viewers on the A 2 category, so it's good. good result for this tournament. Mem's got a bunch as well. Love to see that. So if you're Hera, think about the reverse sweep. Which sieve do you assign to every map? So, Bohemians or Turks on Arena. Italians on Scandinavia. And then it's either Khmer or Bohemians Turks on Arabia. I don't know. And it's going to be Bohemians against Bengalis. Like I said, Turks would be not great matchup against Bengalis. But against Bohemians, it feels like Bengalis might find an opportunity. <clears throat> 
Actually, Turks would deny the early pressure and probably kill the Bohemians or Bengalis first, but then they would struggle to fight the Ratha because Turks don't have skirmishers. Bohemians do have skirmishers. So they can fight the Ratha if Viper wants to play into a boomy game, but they're going to struggle against the earlier push with the armored monks. So I, I guess it all depends on what Viper's strategy is going to be. I think it should be the monk push for Viper with Bengalis. I think the Bengali monk push can be absolutely outrageous sometimes. We'll see. What does Turks do versus elephants with conversion resistance? They win the monk war and then they pressure your base and they kill you before you get into that PJM. Because they have a castle in your face and bomber cannon shooting you down. And the conversion resistance isn't that much with a unit that moves as slow as an elephant. Here we go. Arena. Bengalis for the Viper. It's a pick we haven't really seen. We saw Valesa pick it, I suppose. And he was up against the Burmese. <laughs> he lost against Burmese skirmishers. <laughs> Which should tell you all you need to know about going Ratha. <laughs> Maybe not it. Maybe not it. Maybe Elephant Arches is a better choice. Viper does have a, a really good map, though. He's got his gold back, he's got his other gold back, and he's got his stone pretty far away from the walls. Also, some room for activities. Little closed-off area here. Look at that. Meanwhile, Hera? Well, he's got a pretty good map as well. Uh, actually, both of his golds are forward, so if Viper decides to push him... Early, Harry could run into some troubles. Does have a lot of room to play with, though. And he is playing it with Bohemians. One of the best, considered one of the best arena civs right now. Poles, Turks, Bohemians all up there. Could make a case for Malay as well. Anything Bengalis make dies to skirms aside from monks. Uh, Yeah, elephants don't really, but then they die to anything else. I think if you're making elephants against bohemians, you're making a gigantic mistake. Elephant archers, you could make an excuse for them. But elephants, bleh. Bengalis get bomber cannon, they do not. So that's the one thing holding their their monk push back from being absolutely unreal because their monks get the extra armor, which means they don't really die to the scouts. Um the only thing holding them back is if you go to Imperial Age, you're going to need a castle. Uh, with traps to back them up. So, I hope... Harris Wall is a snail shell? It is! Dude, that's a snail! And then the shell. I hope that Viper goes for an early push with Bengalis. But knowing Viper, his style is more boom, you know? Take advantage of the two free villagers he's getting every age up. Boom into something like Elephant Archers. Hopefully he was watching the game against Valesa against Leary, where Valesa went Ratha, and he figured out that Ratha just kind of suck. Especially against a Civ that can get Skirmishers, Elite Skirm, with all the armor upgrades, too. Predictions? Do we have predictions running right now? I don't know. Ratha Omega Lol? Yeah. It's not a great unit, honestly. Like, the range version is okay. It's got a lot of HP. It's got, like, six base attack. Blah, blah, blah. But the melee version, I, I think Ratha is just a unit where once you have more than, like, five of them, you never want to be using the melee version. It's just so bad. And it dies to Skirm so hard. <clears throat> Elephant Archers, though do have a little bit more resistance to skirmishers than Ratha do, and they have more HP. They feel a little bit better. They are more expensive, however. Elephant Archer versus Hussite Wagon. Well, the thing with Hussite Wagon, <laughs> they're really good at not dying, <laughs> but they're not good at killing anything. They're just so bad. Dude, I played one game of CBA last night because I was bored, and I got Bohemians. <laughs> just even when you have seventy of the things, they just they just can't kill anything. They shoot so slow. It's actually insane. Good, good damage there from Viper. 
to get that first hit. Now Harry can't take the straight up 1v1. What about the range bonus or range damage negation? Like no one uses that. What are the speed what is the speed of a bird? 1.32. The hawk. The mighty hawk flies above the arena, searching for prey. Unbeknownst to him, there is no prey available. No deer to be found. No rabbits to hunt. <clears throat> David? Yep. What's up? Hawks hunt deer now? Dude! If it's like a fawn? Hawk can take a fawn if it's a big enough hawk. If it's a young enough fawn. <laughs> if it's a dead deer and it's a carcass, you better believe they're going to be eating some of that. I was just thinking of like... Things that they could actually eat that are in Age of Empires, right? We don't know. What if it's Ethan Hawk? Okay. So Viper is up two villagers here. Or he's up one villager, but he's up to Castle Age a little bit faster. And that's simply because he gets he gets the two villagers for free, which is really really nice with Bengalis, and we can see him. He's already on six on gold. Six on gold, folks. This is telling us that pressure is coming in from Viper. Okay, Viper is going to heavily contest these relics with monks. And Viper is probably going to try and push Hera back. Now, Viper can't see the gold positions for Hera. But he does see the stone up there, and he sees another gold out on this side. What is the point with Bengalis? Monks. Bengalis have, like, the best monks in the game, dude. <clears throat> Well, before Inquisition comes in and before all the Aztec texts get researched for the extra HP, but the armor is sick. The armor is pretty dope. Okay. He's going to get two more vills. Got to make sure he finishes that house before he gets to the next stage. It's close. It's not close. Viper is not going to be housed. And he's going to make two monasteries likely. Bop, bop, or maybe bop, bing, bop, bop, there we go, bop, bop, two monasteries right away, and he's going for the pressure, he's going for the super pressure, no stable being added here from Viper, he can just make atonement, he can get sanctity, he can outlast the damage from the scouts, and Hera's trying to figure out what's going on, and I don't think Hera can see this, he sees the palisade being deleted, and he's like, hey, wait a second, what is that? But he can't see the monasteries. Absolutely calculated scouting distance there from from Viper. Hera goes for double TC. Ooh, double TC. He's on the stone. Maybe he can defend against it. Remember, Viper does not have bomber cannon. So even if he goes heavy into monks here, he's going to have to make a castle or something forward or make armored elephants to push into Hera's base. Because monks against walls can't do anything. Viper idle time? Yeah, two seconds. Damn. He's also ahead by villagers. Ahead by four vills. Because of Bengalis. It's a good sieve. Also goes for another TC. And he's going to grab one, two relics. Right away. Scout from Harris looking for opportunities. I don't think, like, once Sanctity is in here, I don't think you can engage against the monks if you're Hera. With this armor, with the extra HP from Sanctity, you're just getting your scout converted. He's coming over now. There's a little bit of a traffic jam here, but Viper should see this. Viper! What? Okay. Yeah. Hera doesn't even try. He will see three monks, though, and that will tell Hera that it's likely two monastery production here from Viper, and Viper goes for another TC. And Viper is only queuing up one more monk, for the time being, anyway. So he's going to grab all of these relics. 
I don't think Hera will even try to contest this. He's just going to go for the boom behind. Might even go for a fourth TC. Try and get super far ahead of Viper. Can't go light cav here if you're Hera. The monks are just too strong. And you saw what <laughs> Viper did to your light cav in that Sakatcher game. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could go with hand cannons either, because I think the monks just convert those in low numbers. Hera just boom into super halb Hubnitsa? Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe Viper just goes into... What if Viper just goes... Booms into Skirm and then has the... Uh, the monks to deal with the Hufnitsa. He doesn't even bother with like... Wrath or Elephant Archers or anything. Just goes Skirm Monk. And he has map control. What are Bengali's monk bonuses that make them extra strong? Plus three armor, plus three pierce, plus three melee. So the scout, once it has sanctity, is extremely unlikely to kill the monk before it gets converted. And their monk tech tree is, is very good too. And Viper's going to grab the other two relics. So now Hera is feeling a lot of pressure here. As Viper goes for the fourth TC. And Viper might actually... Viper has all the relics and a better economy. Bengalis are nuts. The only problem with Bengalis is going to be their tech tree. It's definitely going to be the issue, and we wonder what Viper is going to go into here. It'll be a siege workshop. Probably an armored elephant. Start working away on this wall. Maybe a mangonel. Yeah, like, Bengalis eco, it's one of the best booms in the game, for sure. For sure, for sure, one of the best booms in the game. Unfortunately, it's like, what do you boom into? You could go Ratha, but Ratha just dies straight up to Skirm. Elephant Archer also struggles against Skirm, although with Bengalis, it's a little bit better than other civs. Definitely better than Dravidians. I think that's the only other civ to get it. No, Gajaras gets it. Oh, be a little rat with this villager. Pure rat. Super rat. And Viper goes for a outpost on this side, but Hera is going to deny that. There we go. Meanwhile, Hera going for a castle, only with one villager, and here comes the first armored elephant. Meanwhile, scout from Hera finds value against Viper. Viper clears that scout up with his starting one, and I think he'll take that trade. As he starts to work away on the wall, Hera going for the castle, though. Viper will be able to get in, but I don't think he'll be able to push very far. Would it be worth making a monastery at the back right away for the relics? What do you mean? You mean like from Viper? No. I think if he ever gets pushed back to this area, he's probably already lost the game. No use shifting those back there, especially when you have map control already. Hair can go up soon. That's right. He's only got one on gold, though. Like, he can sell food. He's got seven villagers queued, but... Sometimes struggling just a little bit as Viper goes for Loom. Viper goes for Handcart. Viper goes for Atonement. And Viper is in. Sees the castle. He's going to push away on this side, though. And here comes the Mangonel. In. So that's going to force Hera into investing into a Mangonel of his own, which he doesn't really have the gold for if he wants to click up to Imp. And he'll be trying to force this elephant down with just villagers. It's a very messy defense. And look at that. Hera goes for a Mangonel. He'll need to sell food. And Viper is going to go up to Imp at a very similar time. And Viper is on stone right now. So he's thinking about a forward castle. Hera goes for another castle over here. Viper's making this so difficult for Hera. As he comes over towards this castle. Mangonel is almost coming out. That'll take care of the elephant. Viper needs to retreat from this position once that castle is up. Monk's going down on this side, but Viper has the Imperial Age advantage after Hera was up to him so much faster. And Hera sells wood? Why are you selling wood instead of selling food? Very strange. 
He sold all of his wood when he had like 12 villagers queued. And like 400 extra food. Very strange. But he goes up to Imperial Age. She's cleared out the pressure so far. And it is going to be... Oh, no. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Why? Oh, no. Because this unit dies to skirmishers. Maybe Viper can get a good enough position that he can hold on with the Ratha. Maybe. Maybe he's not making more Ratha. He's only made two. Maybe he's going to make something else. We hope for the best for Viper here with the Bengalis. We'd love to see them uh, win against the favored Arena Civ, as we see Hera already getting chemistry. But I guess we'd hope that Hera continues the, the series, right? I hope that as well. Hera now buying wood, and Viper is getting redemption, he's getting fervor, he's getting the armor, he's getting ballistics. Might just be going skirm here. I think it might just be going skirm. Skirm monk. Nice, I like that. I was wondering if that might be viable. The monks to deal with the bomber cannons. Redemption's coming in. He can get block printing as well. The Phneats are going to be tough against the Skirms. But if you have good enough micro with your monks in a good enough position here, you can kind of just wear Hera down. And then you can start mixing in something else after that. It's all about your openings, right? If you open Skirms, you kind of negate the, the hand cannons from Hera or the Skirmishers from Hera as well. Rathos are really great in situations where you want to lose a game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> it's a great point. <laughs> Only three archer ranges, though, for Viper. Both players taking to Elite Skirm. John Slow would be... Man, Terror is losing his mind right now. He said skirmishers don't belong on Arena. That's what he said. And right now, both players are opening with Skirm. And Viper is getting the Cav armor. Is that for his... That must be for his armored elephants, right? Must be for the armored elephants. Just now? I thought it was gone long ago. Yeah, yeah, actually. There's been a missing persons alert for John Slow's mind for many years now. Also, monks can heal up these elephants, by the way. So Hera's going to have all these villagers idled over here. Hera's going into Halbadir to deal with said elephants. Viper also showing the Ratha over here to Hera. So maybe Hera thinks it's going to be Ratha opening for Viper. But it will be skirmishers. And he's going to know now as he sees the skirms for Viper in the center. And he just keeps retreating with the elephants. He goes in. Attacks a little bit, still forcing 15 villagers worth of idle time, and then he retreats back to heal. And he's healing over here. Oh! Oh! Elephant! Door stuck! And now the skirms are collapsing on this army. Halbadir's coming in too. Viper can't really afford to lose the monks if he wants to convert the bomber cannon slash Shufnitsa, but... There are no bomber cannons on the way. Harris is opening with trash, and there's the bomber cannons now that we mentioned them. Coming out from where? Where on earth? Oh, here. It's only got one siege workshop. Wow. Viper's still controlling the map, by the way. Big time controlling the map. Herbal medicine coming in for Viper. Skirmishers kind of dealing with the Halberdier. Still no chemistry for Viper for the extra attack on his skirms, but it's enough right now to deal with the Halberdiers. And it seems to be enough to deal with the skirmishers from Hera. As he takes out the TC over on this side. Going to nuke the lumber camp too. I'm going to be adding even more monks behind this. It is full skirm monk. Full skirm monk. What are these comps? They're just, they're, they're just playing around each other. They're just on another level. 
I'm glad that my postulations at the beginning were correct, though. The Viper should open Skirm Monk. I'm glad that I got that one down. I've never seen this uh, these sieves match up in Arena, so I'm glad that we had the same idea. <laughs> Postulations. <laughs> Chatting, streaming. <laughs> Here come the Skirm and Samara. Chemistry's on the way from Viper. And there's the bomber cannons, and here are the monks! Here he needs to retreat. He's gonna try and snipe these monks. More monks on the way, and he's losing a lot of units, and the castle is going down. Viper is getting a lot of damage against these castles with the trebs. He needs to keep the monks alive, though, to target the bomber cannons. Hera is trying to snipe those. The armor on the monks is coming to play here. They're surviving for a very long time. The castle's down. The castle is down from Hera, and Viper simply packs up his trebs, and he is going to leave. Hera forced into another castle over here. Losing Skirmisher Mass. Only 34 on food right now. Viper has a 45 skirmishers on the field. He's taking the light cab against Bohemians on Arena. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side, another castle from Viper. And he's got Trebs set up over here to start attacking this area from Hera. Remember, Viper has five relics. Hera has no relics. And Hera is running out of gold. Like, th long term, this is good for Viper. He's wearing him down as Hera switches now into champions. And Hera's going to lose this castle. Like, he can't defend this castle. He just simply cannot, right? He's trying to defend on this side. Trying to send the bomber cannons out on this side. Deletes all the walls. And he's going to try and pull these monks back into the castle fire. Skirmishers from Viper trying to go forward. Okay, now Hera might have an angle to target the Trebs. But there's more monks behind here from Viper. And Hera just can't find an angle. He can't find an angle. He's out of stone. He has 2,800 gold in the bank, so maybe he could buy some stone to keep this alive. But for what purpose? You can't find an angle to hit the Trebs. The castle is just going to soak your stone at all times. Hera is attacking this castle with two Trebs, which is good for him. Viper is contesting with a Treb of his own, and the castle goes down. And Hera just built that. Hera just built that. He has no more stone to build castles with. Viper is taking his stone. And Hera is just busy teching into champions right now. As Siege Elephant is incoming for Viper. What does it say about your Civ when <laughs> you'd rather open Skirm than your unique unit? <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> As Hera tries to snipe these monks, but the monks just will not be sniped. Viper now retreating, going into Light Cav. If the Skirms get too out, far out of position, could be bad. Viper shooting the Bomber Cannons, not going to reach them. And the Trebs will die. No, this one gets away. Potentially, maybe. He escapes. And he's trying to convert the Bomber Cannons. All four are targeted right now. But the Monks go down. The Monks go down. Hera managed to snipe all of those Monks with the Skirms. It was great play from Hera. He's also cleared up this castle over here. It is wide open. This does not look like an arena game anymore. This looks like Arabia. <laughs> it's wide open. No walls at all on this side. As Hera tries to gain access to this gold and Hera starts pushing out. Viper needs to start switching into something else maybe. Mayahana coming in. Or Mahayana. That means he's going to have less population in villagers. 20% less, 33% less. We can't remember. It's a number. But Viper is still holding this area. He's going into light cap, so Hera will need to start taking the Halberdier again. Viper's going to try and snipe these bomber cannons. Blast Furnace is not yet in, which really helps light cap against bomber cannons. And Hera's going to lose one, but it's good micro from him to save these. Let's see if Viper gets this bomber cannon. He does! That's big. And he gets another one, dude! What? He got three of those. Needs to... Get his pop back under control, though. Only 30 military for Viper right now. Just 10%. 10%. Okay. Everything adds up. And it's elephants. Elite battle elephant. 
He's made the t tech switch into Elite Battle Elephant against a sieve that gets bonus damage with helps. <laughs> Hera immediately goes into more helps. It's like, I right, bro. Okay. Hera's still banking gold. He's only been making trash units so far. He's still banking gold. Viper is hunting down these gold units from Hera, but Hera still has 3,800, even without the relics. Viper has five relics here. And the battle elephants completely demolishing those skirms. Getting crushed by the halberdiers, but adding some value into these fights. Viper's at 163 pop, but it's actually 177 because of the unique tech. So he's got more population than Hera, and he's got way more population than Hera now. As he tries to access this gold, and Hera's trying to come out for that. Hera with 51 on far food now. Going into champions. Viper will need an answer to champion help. It's not going to be Skirm Elephant. Elephants do fine against champions, but if you mix the helps in two, then they struggle. And the Skirms don't do that well against champions. They do fine against the helps. Viper taking out a treb with just skirms. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down! He's trying! And he gets it. Lots of skirmishers for Viper. 60 skirmishers here on a 1v1 arena game where we usually see a focus on the gold units. As Viper goes for a castle over on this side to control the gold. Another castle on this side to somewhat control this stone in that area over on the right. And the champions are here. And now Viper needs an answer to the champions. It's going to be elephants, but there's helps. There is helps. And Harris still has, well, he's still got plenty of gold. Doesn't have gold income at all. But he's got plenty of gold here. As the elephant comes in, deals with the one treb. Will this treb be dealt with too? He gets both of the trebs. Manages to hold that castle. Hera has pushed out quite a bit into the center now, but Viper is taking this gold once again. Going back onto Ratha. Maybe to deal with the champion. I mean, Ratha deals with champion Halb pretty good, but then more skirms come. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, the unit compositions are going to be tough for Viper. Because Hera's got answers right now, but the map position is going to be super tough for Hera. And the fact that he's missing those five relics, the fact that he isn't taking this gold right now, is going to be really, really difficult for him. He is taking down this castle that Viper just built, though. The Viper's going for armored elephants over there, so maybe he can sneak some snipes on these trebuchet. As he comes in here with the Ratha, maybe he can get back here with the Ratha. It looks like they'll die to the castle first. Could be annoying if he snuck, sneaks them back here, but Hera's not going to allow that. Meanwhile, in the middle, Skirm v Skirm continues. The battle rages on. Do Bengalis get heavy scorpion? That's a question I never thought I'd ask. <laughs> That's a question I never thought I'd ask. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> yes? Could be an option. Hussite ref- <gasps> No way, right? Hussite reforms coming in. That means all the texts in the monastery cost only food. All the monks cost only food. If Viper decides to start pushing with gold units, right now against the comp that Viper is going for, Hussite Reforms is not good. But if Viper decides to only start pushing with gold units and Hera's micro is on point, he could spam monks forever. Unfortunately, he's matching up against Trash right now. In the form of Skirmishers and Lightcap. Viper looks like he's shift queued all his monks onto these champions. Yeah, he has. So he's going to start converting those. Is losing trebs over here. Ratha trying to defend. Halm's trying to snipe the trebs. Hera trying to snipe down another castle. Hera is all out of gold now, folks. All out of gold. 
He's gonna go monks. He's fighting for his life. Light Caver still raiding on the villagers over here. Champion raiding on the villagers over here. Viper has more than enough eco though. And look at the population's 80 military for Viper. This feels like he's never going to give up this middle area of the map. And that's what Hera needed to do. He needed to take back this middle area. Start taking map control. Take control of these neutral golds. Compensate for the relics somehow. But Viper with the Skirm Monk opening. Denied all the pressure from Hera. Killed two castles right away. Now he's pressing back with everything. And Hera can't even fully use Hussite reforms because he's got no food. He's got nowhere to farm. He's losing, he's losing position. And look at this from Viper. This is absolutely outrageous. It seems over, doesn't it? Bengali is better than Bohemians. Snake has played it to perfection, honestly. Really, really nice. Here come the Siege Elephants. They'll be taken out by the Halbs, so that's a bit sloppy from Viper to lose all those units over there. But on this side, Battle Elephants coming in. Skirmishers behind. Ratha behind. Treb's still attacking the castle. Herat determined to hold. 170 population still. Taking out the Treb on this side. Holding the castle on this side. And the game is paused? Yes. yes. Okay, weird time to pause, but okay. Viper's still converting with his monks. His monks are so tanky, he's just taking the whole group and shift clicking units. Hera loses that castle. Hera's got nowhere to farm. Skirmishers are just coming in. Like, look at all the farms that Hera's been denied off of. 44 and he says GG well played congrats and Viper takes that one and that is just that's just beautiful from Viper he goes for Bengalis he takes the relics to early monasteries but then he goes into a boom behind it and he has similar villager count to Hera because of the four free villagers he got on the way up to Castle Age he's got the gold to support the boom he opens skirmisher because he knows Ratha are bad and elephant archers are expensive and then he just holds the position in the middle. Texan an elite battle elephant, light cav, monks to deal with the siege, constant trebs, attacking the castles from Hera. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, Viper is going to take Warlords. $30,000 tournament. I don't know how, he makes for, how much he makes for first place. Like 10k plus probably. And he's going to take this one 5-2 to two in the grand final over Hera. He's a good all tournament and Viper is still, I think our number one. I think he's our number one in the world. After all these years, all the debates lately, Viper showing that he's still got it and doing it with the Bengalis. Unexpected Civ pick there. Bengalis winning and Burmese winning. <laughs> That's something. Loss for the Bohemians there. And the win on Arabia, or sorry, 